Наверно, к дому зима дорожки все замила. В небе над грозным тают звезды в лучах зари. И только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. В небе над грозным тают звезды в лучах зари. Черном домой летит За высьбой матом Война под люка в огне горит И только маме, что я в Чечне Не говори За высьбой матом Война под люка в огне горит И только маме, что я в Чечне Не говори Придет суббота и черт с войной Не спят ребята И запах пота Был трудный бой Опять из боя Не вышло трое Хоть плач ори И только маме Что я в Чечне Не говори Опять из боя Не вышло трое Хоть плач ори И только маме Что я в Чечне Сячкой Мардан С другом Сани, что он вернется, держу пари Ты только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори С другом Сани, что он вернется, держу пари Ты только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори Опять девчонки Привет. Ну что-то долго мне из дома писем нет А если спросят, о чем пишу я, ну что ж, соври И только маме, что я не говори А если спросят, о чем пишу я, ну что ж, соври
что он вернется, держу пари. Ты только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. С другом Сани, что он вернется, держу пари. Ты только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. О, oh, hello? Ас. That's way too loud. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, there have been some upgrades to the channel. Uh, let's go down. Welcome, Kojinu, PCD, Raven. Uh, Kojinu, thank you for the gift to Perin P and Demo Reel. I appreciate it. Uh, Fake Crade, hello, welcome. You love feeding people? All right, you're in the right place. Oh, welcome to Ellie. Hello. Yeah, that art's really good. Uh, I'm very happy to have it done. <sighs> How y'all been? I haven't streamed in a while. I guess it's only been like, what, a week? But you were just in another stream fantasizing about food? Well. Oh boy, do we got the emotes for you? Hope everyone in who celebrated it had a good Thanksgiving. That was alright. Thanksgiving's hit different when you're my age, I guess. Hello, Barbish, welcome. I had a bunch of things I wanted to talk about, and now they're all gone in my head. Hello, Reganomicon. You haven't heard that? Oh, goodness. I'm surprised. I guess, I don't know. I guess it is kind of a popular song. I forgot how many views it had when I downloaded it, or from the YouTube video I stole it from. But I welcome. You eat that Neo Kobe pizza? I mean, yeah, soon. We'll get to that. I gotta practice my uh, Zatsudan chops, though. Yeah, I asked about Thanksgiving. What else was I gonna say? I just took my glasses off. I can't read that. Hello? Welcome, Dubious. Hello. And hello, Draconic Dude. Oh, thank you very much for uh, subscribing. I appreciate it. Wait. No, no, no. I put text to speech on. That should have. Uh... Wait. No, I turned on text to speech. Why didn't that work? No. Oh, goodness. Oh, you can't hear the music either? Huh? Is it too low? It's playing on OBS. Do you hear it now? What? Oh, you can hear me, but not LBS is such a weird piece of software. Oh, you know what? I did the thing. I did the thing. I did I did the thing. I did the thing. Monitor only. Oh my god. Okay, now you should hear it. Goodness. Hey, hello, yeah, it's music. Uh, I don't know why text to speech didn't work. Mm. 
Did I forget to save it, maybe? Yeah, it's the Bandit Radio from uh, Clear Sky. Enable text to speech, yeah, huh. Oh, well, I'll fiddle with it eventually. You ever finish the Terrapody Blue? I I'm gonna be real, I haven't played any soccer games. I played it in high school. He. Oh, hello, Sunibra. Play it again? It's like a 30 minute mix. I think we're good. Oh, the sub alert? Uh. How do I do that? <laughs> Should I just put the, the new art that I finished on the screen? It's very good. Uh, let me bring up the artist. Let's all look at it again. If you have Streamlabs, you can send a test notification. Yeah, the test notification worked. Lenor just subscribed. Do not fear a man that spam is 1000 memes. Instead, fear a man that spam is a meme 1000 times. Did that pop up for y'all? Well, I'm sorry, Draconic dude. Oh, let me get that art up. Hey, look at this. Everyone look at this. Oh, oh. Hello, testing, testing. Calling call cat raccoon dogs. Hello. Thank you uh, for the five bits. Uh, and the artist is this person. No, not pro. I really want to play Kino, um, the band with Victor Soy, but like that's just gonna get me DC D DMCA. I'm so sad. I really love Kino. I'd like to show it off to people, but I don't think that I can. But yeah, I uh, commissioned this art from uh, Nona Prev. They have a skin. If you want something similar, commission them. Yeah, so good. Actually, let me see. Uh, let me add a browser source. I want to do this for all the games that I play, and then I always forget. But I found the manual for Snatcher, and it has... It has a little, uh, comic in it. Uh, add browser. Do not make it visible. Actually, let's go to the... Huh. Okay, you know what? I don't know how to do this. Oh. This is so... Uh -huh. I want to show this off, but how do I do this without docs? I guess I should have did that before stream. Oh, win. Do I have anything... 
Fuck you, fuck you. No, this should be fine. Oh, that's right. And maybe next time. Mm. I guess I've chatted enough. Oh, what did I do last time for the manual? Was it just my... I just streamed my... Uh, desktop? I must have. Let's see what it is. I guess we can just get right into it. And we'll look at the manual next time. Gow? I didn't see that. Gow! 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 Thank you for the redeem. Alright. Now this should just work. Okay. Alright. Oh! Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... So then when I unmute this on my end, y'all should now hear nothing? I guess the music timed out? I also got emotes on the screen now. They should just happen randomly. So I think if I just do this, it should just work. Okay, and then... Did y'all hear that beep? It's kind of low. Beep? Okay, so... Yes? Okay. Quick! <laughs> The story, characters, and events in this game are entirely fictional. Any similarities to actual people, places, and events are entirely coincidental. I do like the overlay. I did it in like... I did it in like a few hours. Boop. Boop. Oh, I guess I have to advance. And totally not ripped off from 80s movies? Ooh. How was that? I guess we should wait for music. Konami! Huh? Yeah? Yeah, Konami? Bit of a heightened sense of uh, importance here. Oh. A bit loud? A bit punchy? Yeah, okay. How's that? Up? Two notches? Okay, uh... It. Welcome to Junker Headquarters. May I help you? Well, what button? This button? That button? This button. She's a beautiful. Oh! Oh, no! No! Oh, oh, I didn't know. Oh, that was, that's gotta be an RTA. It's no use. She's protected by a shield. It's a Junker recruiting ad. 
Oh, hello, Nano Dan. Welcome. Hope you had a good day. That's one of those pod type reception units where the operator sits in a shielded capsule. This is some pretty heavy duty stuff they've got here. This place would be more dangerous than I thought. Looks like a security camera. It's the office of the headquarters. I guess I should. She was heat proof and shock proof, specially designed to withstand an attack by snatchers. And then. Investigate. Operator? Too bad I can't get in there. She's truly gorgeous. Killian, keep it in your pants. I'm afraid only Junker personnel are allowed inside headquarters. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. I've been assigned to Junker operations effective today. You just told me that, Gillian! <laughs> you did not even know Snatcher had voice acting? Yeah, I was in the Sega CD. And I think uh, voice acting was a big selling point for it. Could you tell me a little about Junker operations? The Junkers are a special task force put together to combat the Byroid Snatcher menace. Overseen by government intelligence agencies. Oh, I didn't know that it was also on PS1 and Saturn later. Huh. This is my first time in town. Oh, well, you'll get used to it. Right away, everyone's pretty welcome. There are many different ethnic groups and types of people here. It's Japan, but it's not Japan, if you know what I mean. I don't. Tell me a little about yourself. <laughs> Isn't that a bit forward, Mr. Seed? Let me tell you about my sir. Maybe then you'll tell me. I can tell you very smooth with the ladies. Ah, oh, Gillian, keep it in your pants. Uh, I have a pretty good memory, Mr. C. Especially if you're considering an attractive man like you. Oh, oh shit. We in there? Japanese undercover neurokinetic elimination ranger. That's one forced ass acronym. Neurokinetic Elimination Ranger. Uh, Mr. can we go in? Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian Mika. Okay, Gillian. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. Cool. Crunchy. I'll show you first. Um, I guess it's much to just go down and meet the chief. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the Army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. Huh. Amnesia? He's chief of Junker Operations, eh? Just as I imagined him. Did you say something? Information from all over the world is continuously pouring in. It's a nice view of Neo Kobe. Too bad there are snatchers lurking out there somewhere. You'll go be at night. Great view, don't you think? Picture of a boss. 
Eh? What a funny design. Isn't that the, the two people kissing? See, I'm no snatcher. It's an ultra high resolution display panel capable of playing back holograms as well. Uh, shout out to two dudes kissing? Hell yeah. I'm playing this on uh, my completely legitimate Sega Saturn CD. So this is his taste in art, huh? Don't touch that picture. It's very special to me. That's an air cushion type sofa. It's the latest in robot sofas, employing chaos system technology? Quitta. The Junker headquarters was set up a year ago by the police as a special task force to combat the snatcher problem. Junker operations were officially started in August of this year. We answer directly to the government's intelligence agencies. That poster's really tacky. Oh, that's my design, by the way! Your taste is right out of the dark ages! Huh? A Yonker operates with certain rules and privileges different from regular police officers. Those are... 1. The purpose of the Junker forces is to eliminate Byroid Snatchers. 2. A Junker, even in the course of carrying out, number 1, must not harm an innocent civilian. 3. A subject may not be physically investigated or restrained unless irrefutable evidence exists that indicates the subject is indeed a Snatcher. A Junker is required to assist and support civilian bounty hunters. In order to carry out one, a Junker is allowed to use of a blaster, a navigator, and a turbo cycle. Those are the five rules. Oh my god. Oh. Did that show up on stream? Huh. Well. A Junker's job is to figure out who the... Yeah, the Flash. That's weird. That was from a Steam pop up. Let me just go offline. Oh god, oh god. Uh, uh. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Flashing warning, flashing warning. Look away. Okay, that shouldn't happen again. I'm so sorry about that. A Junker's job is to figure out who the Snatchers are. Uh, yeah, I'm flashing you. That's for, that's for, that's the other scub, Ellie. That needs to come in. A Junker's job is to figure out who the Snatchers are and to eliminate them. I want you to put your special training in the military to good use and investigate those points about Snatchers that we don't yet understand. We've got to put a stop to them. The Junker's job is highly specialized and extremely dangerous. That's why there's so few of us. I'm the chief, Harry's the engineer, and then there's Mike, Micah, Gibson, and you are our runners. It's just the five of us. I'm always flashing y'all every time us get involved. True. The Snatchers suddenly appeared here in Neo Kobe. We have no idea where they come from or what they want. We do know that they kill, copy the appearance of their victims, and take their place in society, and that their numbers are increasing. That should be enough to make your duties as a Junker quite clear. This is your Junker ID card. It will identify you as a Junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I see. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? Yeah, literally. And, uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. True. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. Possessions? Go? Badge. Your listing seed, remember, keep that with you at all times. 
I was I was going to say that I was like, wow, Pajima really saw Blade Runner and then was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna literally lift this. But the replicants are replacing people. I think they did that. I read Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. I guess they didn't replace people. They just like pretended to have existed. Uh, okay, so then I guess. Uh, uh, it's a robot designed to assist junkers by performing all types of analysis. It's got a pretty good sensor setup, too. I have a confession. I've not finished Blade Runner, the first movie. You're, you're pretty sure Kocha, Kocha, no, you're Kocha. Kocha says Kojima fully admitted to being heavily inspired. I have seen Blade Runner 2048, and uh, uh, forgive me, I'm a Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Or is it Gosling? Wait. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Ryan Gosling Gosling. I liked the book. The book was good. Where would you like to go to next? Uh, engineering room. This is engineering. All the Yunkers, that is, the runners, equipment is made here. Well, I keep saying Yunker like the goddamn plane. It's Junker, ain't it? Hmm. It doesn't look like Harry's around at the moment. Micah, look at Micah's face, huh? You're truly beautiful, Micah, huh? What? Huh? Gillian, keep it in your pants. There are tools and machines all over the place. It's a regular factory in here. This room always looks like this. I don't know how he finds anything. I guess, I guess we leave. Yeah, this fire rook is amazing. Uh, I guess we have the detective room. This is the detective's room. It's the office for our runners. That's what we call junker investigators like you. They even, it's even, they're even called runners. Kojima, you stole this. You'll be using the desk in the back. What about this desk near the door? That's Jean's desk. Jean-Jacques Gibson, he's our ace runner. Even so, Jean's got an 18-year-old daughter. Yeah, okay. A daughter, eh? Her name's Katrina. Uh, hardest. Let's look at her desk. Looks like a nice desk, but I probably won't be using it much. Uh, I'm not gonna look at her face, it's just skeezy. This is an antique desk. Jean's really into antiques. A lot of information flows into here. All the information available to our runners is output from Jordan? Jordan? The country? This place is really different from other detectives' office. Uh, let's ask uh, Gibson. Look at her? Okay, okay. His wife was killed by a snatcher two years ago. After that, he quit his detective job and became a junker. Oh, God, that sucks. He's been living with his daughter, Katrina. That sucks. Harry Benson is our engineer. He's a bit of a lush. But he's a friendly and sweet old guy. Every junker investigator gets an analysis robot. Quite a combination, eh? We call the robots navigators. She's John's only child. She turned 18 this year. Micah. Yes. What do you want? I can sense that you and I are destined to fall in love. It might sound crazy, but... Gillian, you're married, aren't you? Hello, welcome, Jeannie. Well, her? I can't do that. Uh, ask to sniff? No. Wait, well, let's show her... Let's show her cash. A lot of places around here won't take plastic. Cash is king in Neo Kobe. I right, couldn't buy a sniff. We couldn't buy a whiff. Uh, we looked at everything. That's better. Okay, well. You heard Jordan? And you know what kind of Jordan? Michael Jordan! Ah, of course. Michael Jordan works for the Junkers. Uh, I guess let's go to the computer room. This is Junker Headquarters computer room. My god, look at these graphics. They're so good. It's linked to 
databases throughout the country, so you can find almost any information you might need. Uh, look. Computer. Antiques in the computer room, eh? I haven't seen a keyboard in some time. Uh, area. Number of input and output devices are linked to the host computer. Uh, how to use. First, put your Junker card in the slot. Once it's confirmed you as a user, just follow the instructions that Jordan flashes on the screen. Oh, Jordan has become a sentient AI. They've, they've, uh, he sold his likeness. So that he can be the AI assistant like Miku to everybody. Once you're registered on the system, the rest is easy. I'm Jordan, Junker Headquarters host AI computer system. Please insert your ID card. What? Has this thing got a personality? Oh. Uh. Let's look at ourselves. Let's, let's use the cursor to the name of the person you're searching for. And put the first name, then last name, without a space. John Konami is John Konami. Uh, Gillian. Let's look at, let's, let's, let's look ourselves. Gil. Ian. Gillian would totally Google himself. Cannot execute request. You do not possess a high enough security Huh? What? That's... Okay, uh, let's do Micah. Micah. That's kind of skeezy, actually. I just realized we're literally Googling our coworker right in front of her. Micah Slayton. Administrative assistant, age 23, 167. She's taller than me. Uh, blood type A plus. Single, graduated from Kobe University with dual major in criminal psychology, municipal, or Kobe crime research, home in the Yucker headquarters. Open it to administrator. Did you acquired? Hell yeah. Oh, that emo scared me. Uh, solved them by using the technique of dangerous technique of attaining complete sympathico with the criminals. What psychological stress from the job led her to resign? Recommendation from Junker Chief led to her joining the agency. Huh. Tall and single? Uh, who else could we. Who's our chief? Harrison. Harry. Harry. Yeah. You know we're married, but. Just because there's a goal, it doesn't mean you can't score. Haha. -ha. Harry Benson. Engineer, Junker Agency, age 55, 168, 65 kilograms. Oh, um, negative, single. Originally a member of government science to combat snatches before its combination police led them to form the Junker. Parents died in catastrophe. Harry taken to government custody. MSU? I shouldn't say this, but that's my mother's alma mater. That's funny. Computer, generate eight foot and eight mile tall mica. Huh? Eight feet and eight miles. Nano, I didn't know you were into giantesses. Gains widespread attention of his development of weapons during World War III? Who the fuck? What is this guy doing here in Neo Kobe? What the fuck? Joins NASA following war? Contributes to ramjet engine development? Three Nobel Prizes? Why is this guy hunting robots in Neo Kobe? What the fuck? Uh, I can't remember any of our other coworkers' names. Uh, let's look at, let's do some research on Snatchers. Snatcher characteristics: Snatchers operate almost exclusively at night and during the winter months. Snatchers only snatch VIPs. Their ultimate goal appears not to be just a snatch, but the some secondary deck from it. Snatcher targets are restricted by their physical size. While they can adjust to the size of their major body areas, these adjustments are limited. As such, victims are exclusively persons of 150 and 180 centimeters in height. Huh, okay. In all honesty, you're not into giantesses, but you can't see with that one video. What one video? You gotta share with the class after saying that. MSU is a real random, you need to have IMO? I mean, I think MSU is pretty big. 
But again, I don't. Nice of the game to let you go on a Wikipedia rabbit hole. It's so funny to search up your coworker's Wikipedia articles. What? Someone put it in your server a while ago. I'm scared. Disengage safety protocols and run program. Oh, that one. I thought. Why is it flashing? Stop. Okay. Uh, Sasher weapons, a mouth firing laser cannon. Okay, that's good to know. Thin slit for portions of their skull armor, which make hand size adjustment impossible. Uh, politics, culture science. Uh, if I wasn't streaming, I'd probably look at all this, but I think it is good. I hope that I was able to be of service. I look forward to our next session together. Uh, ask. Ask about computer. What is computer? Micah, tell me. This is our host computer. A model RM pin 13. We call it Jordan. That's for Chunker Online Regional Data Access Network. I like the Michael Jordan theory better. It employs full-scale artificial intelligence-based processors. Jordan is fully programmed with all human learning routines and uses an intelligence interface to perform automatic translation, problem solving, you name it. It employs expert class artificial intelligence routines developed for field work robots. It's the best there is. It's starting to sound like the shit I do for work. Okay. Uh, it's so weird. How come Gillian's file is classified, but ours is? Or, like. The chief of police wasn't even classified. This is the shooting range. Junkers come here to improve their marksmanship. The one thing I know about uh, this game. Oh, he's back. Oh, good. Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. I just started eating a burger. I, like, like, I'm not just streaming. My tummy scared me. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the Navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Metal Gear? Huh? Oh my god, it's even the Shadow Moses hot music. personal assistant metal gear that's a pretty weird name oh he's cute uh thank you i think he's turning red i took his basic design and his name from the metal gear menace of the late 20th century but uh, quite unlike that metal gear this one was designed for peaceful purposes it is a metal gear for nano did you not know about metal gear <laughs> Can we look at the Metal Gear? Look at him, he's a cutie. It looks like some kind of child's toy. A toy? I'd be interested to see what kind of toys you had as a kid. He's kind of cute. Uh, look. Oh, where did I look at it? Investigate. Metal Gear. Full bipedal motion system, eh? I don't want anything that's gonna slow me down. I wasn't built for running, but in case of an emergency, yeah, in case of an emergency, what? Can I be quiet and run, please? Can't be serious. Tell me you're not serious. Ah, let's look at Harry. I'm sure I've met this guy. I just can't recall. You've got bad eyesight there, boy. 
Did you start Chidio Kojima in game yet? That's smart. We should do that. We'll go back. We'll go back. Those are odd work clothes. Let me take a look at those. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it. Gillian just sexually harassing his co-workers. All of them, I guess. Navigators are designed from the start as a Junkers investigative assistant. On-site detection, analysis, recording, communications, you name it. They're packed with features, and Metal Gear here is the latest model. What about an attack system? Don't they carry weapons? Afraid not, they're unarmed. After all, the main idea behind a navigator is to assist in an investigation's data management. But they do have a save function. Just choose use Metal Gear command and then the save command, and you can re record the exact status of your investigation that way. In the same way, you can use the use light command to help when it's too dark. How about communication? Does that have some kind of radio? There's a video phone installed. A video phone? Kill it, you boomer. Just use Metal Gear. Use video phone to access it. In theory, you can use it anywhere, but you have to watch out for interference. Um. You're an engineer. Tell me about how the Snatchers are built. It's odd, but we've never been able to get a specimen. They've always stolen or have self-destructed. They have any weaknesses? They're built really well, so it's tough to destroy them outright. Try to immobilize them. They've got these slits on their head for some reason. A well-placed shot there will often destroy their control functions. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. Yeah, I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. Oh, don't point it at him! What are you doing? It's unbelievably light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. Ray guns? She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics. Not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. I have a video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connect. Hey, Jean-Jacques Gibson. Junker HQ, this is Gibson. That's just Deckard. I'm probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M district. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. This is a turbo cycle, specially designed for jumper use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. Huh, the speed ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. That literally what I was thinking. Genie. Ah. Was it the engraving with no tactical advantage whatsoever? Nice circumcision. It's built with the latest ceramic plastics and cardinal polymers. It doesn't even have a scratch on it. On the ground, it runs on three wheels, but they're retracted during flight. This is Junker HQ parking lot. Several turbo cycles are parked here. I guess we should just. Stop digging around. There's no problem. The tires also have the inspector stamp on them. Okay, that's just... We're in the turbo cycle. Operation is computer control. Where would you like to go? Hey, Gigi. Hello. Uh, factory ruins. Now departing for the abandoned factory. Lots of sick, look at the map. Game looks cute. Yeah, it's Snatcher by uh, Kojima. There's another part where I wait or I push a button. 
I should have used Metal Gear to save, though. Chat? Is it just a loading screen? Oh, you know? The sound is horrific. LA says probably reading the disc. Well, I push every button. Why did they make this? Just give it ten minutes. Why did they make this noise? I'm getting distressed. If you describe sounds like this when you're actually reading a disc? My mouth is agape. I... Helium? This is getting worrying? Yeah, I don't... Does this game have long load time? <laughs> what is it about? Did they think travel would be in real time? It's cinematic? True. Ah, uh, what if I had the NIST cigarettes? Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. What core are you running? Uh, uh, this. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, this is a bug. It has to be a bug. Um. Uh. Use a virtual desktop to play the game and X Windows XP? Huh? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. In a long play video, it's pretty quick. Is your phone in service? Oh! Hi, Gumpy! Hello! Uh. Activate perfect sync in Fusion or the game locks. Sweet silence. Uh, thank you, Raven. Uh, you're always so very helpful. Activate perfect sync in Fusion. Uh, so that was a bug. That was not supposed to happen. Um, hmm. Simple screen saving during emulation. Switch to full screen mode. Auto pause. Um. Uh huh. You know, very frustrating to have technical problems in every game that I want to play. Uh, 
perfect sync and fusion. Okay, let me. Can we go back in time? Oh God. Okay. Uh. I don't want to. I don't want to play the whole game again. I should have saved. Why didn't I save? Uh. Uh. Press the start button. To pay, you can skip a lot of the dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I am in perfect synchro. Yes. Okay, so. Alright, watch me speed run. Ah, oh, frustrating. I guess this is why people get the actual hardware. Sega CD BIOS. I never had Sega. I saw my first Sega console actually like two weeks ago. When I was visiting a friend. We were a Nintendo household. Hmm. Hello, game. Okay. Game. Okay. I thought he's the perfectly legitimate uh reopen ROM. This one. And then boot CD. Press the start button. Let's use internal backup, why not? No, new game! Okay, 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 okay. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 Okay, okay, speedrun, speedrun time. Sorry, no cool. Yeah. Oh, did I reset the game for doing that? Okay, that's good to know. Is this not skippable? For real? No hot sax intro? Yeah. Act one. Snitch. Welcome to Junker Hangover. Only all the rippers know. Well, I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters effective today. We can't skip this. Oh, hello, Jimmy. Uh, we're in experiencing mild technical difficulties at the moment. So the start button is just reset the whole console. Okay. Ah, frustrating. Okay, okay. So the start button resets the whole console. I just said that twice. What's good morning? Oh, Jimmy, you want to see something cool? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, 
They scared me. They jumped on me. I guess we have an extended Zatsudan. Uh, enter. Only all kinds of personnel. Talk. I'm Gillian C. I'm Gillian C. Oh, I'm at the headquarters. Oh, you're Mr. C. That fucks. Thank you. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrator. This is a fuck allowed zone. Junker headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. Uh, let me in. This is a what? Huh? You heard what I said, and I said what I meant. Uh, can I leave? We have to look at Mika. We have to be a, a, a creep. Oh, we have to ask about everything. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, chat, how was your day? My day was pretty normal. Uh... We're getting the house repainted. So there's people outside my window, okay, even though I'm on the second floor. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. Your day was spent wasting away. <laughs> What's this starting snatcher for the first time? Cool, cool. Yeah, hello, hello, Chronic Dude. Welcome. Yeah, I did a lot of art yesterday, but it messed my hand up, so for we're video seat. gaming. I'm Benson Cunningham, the chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the How 17th have I been Special going? Forces about Division. About an hour? I've heard all about your special training in the military, hmm. Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid <clears throat> not. I still can't remember a thing from before the army picked me up three years ago. Hello, DCD. Welcome. Welcome. Again. Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very... Gillian's voice actor is very good. On. I can see your point there. I like how Harry sounds like he's calling it in. Uh, exit. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, we had an error. Uh, so we're replaying the beginning. Hey, you can definitely tell. Gillian's voice actor is, uh, very good. You woke up at 10, you finish everything at 5, you only finish one thing. That's how it be. That should be enough to make your duties as a junker quite clear. This is your Junker ID card. It will identify you as a Junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I see. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? And, uh, Literally, you are a cop. It's not much, but you'll need it Killing to carry out your himbo. investigation. Cash? Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. You'd have a new dragon coacher? You barely got the base done? Well, there's still time. Uh, go to the computer room. We look up Hideo Kojima. No, no, no. Wrong button. No, wrong button. It's almost like when you're matching, you don't have control. Okay, exit. We go to the computer room, we look up Hideo Kojima. I'm excited to see Dragon Coacher though. Dragons are nice. Uh, look. Computer. Antiques in the computer room. Haven't seen a blah 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 blah. Ask how to use. Blah blah blah. blah junker card. Blah, 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 blah. Use Jordan. Michael Jordan. Register me. Uh, use card. Uh, okay. Uh, load ID file. What is Hideo Kojima's first name? I guess Hideo? He's gotta be in here. Hideo. Oh, Kojima. Kojima. Ko 
Oh, he's in here! You were right! You were right, Nano! He's in here! Ah, hey, hey, I see. Third generation family man, nickname Ojima. Favorite game, Zabika. Snatcher has crossed the sea. I hope you all enjoy it a lot. Thank you, Hideo Kojima. Uh, help us able to be of service. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, gym. He's not here. Uh, exit. Yeah, that is Kojima. Uh, second room. When does this game get good? Hello, Brent. Uh, I think it's been good so far. We're speed running it through again though, because uh, we encountered an emulation error. Uh, let's ask about Gibson. Let's ask about Katrina. Uh, but hello, I hope your day was good. I've got some upgrades here. We got an overlay finally. Uh, let's look at uh, engineer. He's still not here. I guess the flag must be. The walking into the gun room. Can we practice? Gillian, you haven't got your blaster. Let's go and visit Harry. Come on. Zaviga? It's written incorrectly in English and in Japanese. It's meant to be Zaviga. Hmm. A shmup. Ah. Okay, so I know about this. The one thing I know about this game is that I should plunk this. Just taking it easy? Hell yeah. I'll start on the introductory level. Okay. Good luck. Ready? Go! Ele flunk. Did you get the Folger sponsorship yet? Yeah, I saw that tweet. Banger of a tweet. Oh my god, look at that! You've got a lot of work to do. Your accuracy is poor, but worse, you're hitting too many civilians. You're not wasting much ammo, but you just can't hit civilians out in the real world. It'll cost your job. You were away. Do you know I, the one thing I know about this game is that you gotta flunk that, or else the game gets impossibly hard. Oh good, Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. DCD streaming on really? Justin TV. Well, I guess I must be imagining things. Uh, investigate Harry. Look at Harry. I know, I know. All you had to new tape your way through? Oh, yeah. The Navigator, which I designed especially for you. This bit's so good. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Metal, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mop 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Oh, he's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. 
I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. Uh, yeah. What a good bit. Full bipedal motions. Oh, wait, I already read this. Blah, 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 blah. Uh... Timmy! Oh, thank you for subscribing! Uh, for six months. I appreciate it. Tanuki. Yeah, that's me! Your head can is that Snatcher is yet another Metal Gear timeline? I mean, it, it, Harry just confirmed that it basically is. The solid timeline, Ghost Babble, Acid timeline? I mean, I think that's not even... I don't even think that's head can. I think that's... Not, that's not even fanon. Yeah, yeah, I added emotes on screen. I don't know if they've been popping up. Well, yeah, they have. I've seen them. Uh, every sub does an uh, explosion. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, wait, what did we ask to trigger? Oh, the blaster. That was it. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. Yeah, I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. Stop pointing at the... Get your finger out of the trigger! It's unbelievably Killian. <laughs> You bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. Uh... Oh, I didn't ask for a sec. Yeah, ID tag soldiers using ID tag guns. Future guns are probably interproof. God. Wait, wait till they see how many civilians I bag. PCD. I quartered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M district. Request immediate backup. I like how they just made Deckard. That means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the. How many civilians I bag? This is a turbo cycle, specially designed for jumper use. In addition to three <laughs> is played by Joe Fishy. capable of hovering and high speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable. Alright, we're gonna save landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. We're gonna save here. Flying tricycle. And then we'll save I just came in and these things. These are game preservation techniques. Vehicle for use in our investigations. Use metal gear. Save. Uh save one. Save complete. Would you like to continue play? Continue game. Turn to investigation. All right. File. Save state. What? Okay, sure. Snatcher, please don't break. I've never saved a file. Okay, whatever. So, if anyone wrote an audio drama named SD Atcher, which is a prequel to this game where Gibson is the protagonist. I, I saw SD Asher or maybe SD Snatcher now was the game. For the abandoned factory. I think this might have uh, broken again. SD Etcher or something else entirely? Ah, I see. It is around 30 seconds in the video. Try button? Then it fades out. I don't want to like Alt Tab because it makes it all glitchy. Well, I'm playing windowed mode, but.
Yeah, this is a bug we encountered, but... Ah, uh, okay. So, he's not talking, so it's bugged. Okay, okay, okay. So, we'll just load the state. It didn't, my, it didn't save. What the? Quit the. Huh? You remember being its own audio track in the CD? The copy's missing the audio track? Dying CD reader noise to enhance. Okay, this is awful. Oh my god. I saw okay. Holy sh woo. Hmm. Okay, well I'm gonna I have to use the restroom, so I'll be right back. Hello, Greedra, welcome. I am using that one, actually. DCD, if you can solve my issues, I'll kiss you on the mouth. But I do have to pee. And I need to walk to release my anger. So I'll be right back. Everyone look at the cool intro screen again. Над грозным тают звезды в лучах зари, и только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. В небе над грозным тают звезды в лучах зари, и только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. Сегодня ночью в чеченской падлой был там подвид. Механик водитель в тюльпане черном домой летит. За высьбой матом война под люка в огне горит. И только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. За высьбой матом война под люка в огне горит. И только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. Суббота, белье починил, и черт с войной Не спят ребята, и запах бота был трудный бой Опять из боя не вышло трое, хоть плач ари И только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори Опять из боя не вышло трое, хоть плач ари только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. Опять с ребятами идем на караван. В горы стреляют черная крепость, очкой мордан. С другом Сани, что он вернется, держу пари. И только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. Сани, что он вернется, держу пари, и только маме, что я в Чечне, не говори. Опять девчонки, я шлю горячий, большой привет. Ну что-то долго мне без дома писем нет. А если спросят, о чем пишу я, ну что ж, соври. Только маме, что я не говори. А если спросят, о чем пишу я, ну что ж, соври. Ты только маме, что я вою, не говори. Привет, малышка моя родная. You have a separate folder for it. You have to move all those files.
Oh, wait. Let me check. Oh, snap. Is that fun? I, I get I just went to the restroom. Hey, Washa. Oh, I'm cheating. Oh, uh, help, Rita. Hope you have a good day. Yeah, well, the rest of my guess. No, I'm just eating in the mic. Let me be. You have a separate folder containing the game files. You have to move those files with the .exe. Every file in the main directory, the emulator. Now where did it? Let's go to put it. Yeah, it should be that. It would be. Because. <laughs> I just used the uh, booties because I forgot the um, the perfected form of a uh, hoodies. Uh, or well, well, would it be hoodies? Or yeah, it wouldn't be yechel. It'd be yeah, yeah. Boot is tooth. I like that too. Boot is such a funny word to say. My Russian has uh, declined dramatically. Thumb. One thumb. I forgot the perfective uh, form of to go by foot. I just have to extract the MP3s. Cool BRB screen. Yeah, it's very yeah. Wait. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's it's it just got finished. I'll put it up on screen again. I uh, commissioned. Uh, no, no, not prev on Skeb. Uh, they're very good. It was another skeb. It was really funny. It's another skeb that uh, it took them to the 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 absolute last day, but that's fine.
How do I get to the slasher files? This is the best time. Oh. Wow. Snatcher is only $900 on eBay. What a steal. Normally people played it with the ISO and the MP3 files in the same folder. Or BenQ dumps. Yeah. Yeah, only 900 US dollars. Hello, Tarx. Welcome. Merry Christmas. We were playing a Christmas game, but now we're getting a game preservation uh, issue. Was Reich Eitze? Was Reich Eitze? Oh. Mir is nicht schirmas. Merry Snatcher Mice. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, 10 bits to uh, coaching. I appreciate it. Glasses toggle? Oh. No one ever does that one. Uh, should be this one? Every game I want to play, why? Why is it so frustrating? Another, if there's a PS1 version, I guess I'll just try that because Duck Station works, but JP only? Ah, uh, 
Yeah, the only English version is Sega CD? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Oh, goodness. You have a... Okay, so... You have to move all these... Okay, so... Do I have a separate... DCD? Hello? Something happened? Oh, he found? DCD engine just to get the game working for me? Oh, thank you, DCD. Uh, yeah, let me, what is this? Okay, so I put... Okay, let's read the read me. So if I'm understanding right, I just put this with the executable. If I'm understanding it, just run the ISO. So correct, Harks. Let me stretch. We'll know if this works if the uh, intro video plays that didn't. Continue. It seems to recognize my save. Okay. Uh. I've, I've not switched because I want to just test it out. Oh, yeah. Well, the music's playing. I think it worked. Oh my god! Alright. Oh my god. Thank you, DCD. Thank you very much, DCD. I appreciate it a lot. I... 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. We've arrived at the event factory. What would you like to do? Uh Oh, how's the volume? I feel like it got louder. Or is it fine? Seems good. Okay, thank you. We've arrived at the event factory. This is where Jean called from. Ah, uh, let's investigate. Bit of a boost in dialogue? Okay. I boosted a little. Metal, are you reading anything? I can't tell from here. We'll have to move inside. Uh. I guess it's safe. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? We missed the dialogue, but that's. Yeah, uh, continue game. Should we video phone? We can't. Snow Knight is a bio-engineered form of pollen which interferes with radio transmissions. Um... Anything suspicious? No sign anyone's around. Okay. The building is heavily damaged. It's probably been abandoned since last century. The sky is getting quite dark. Can I bass boost it? No, I don't know how. I'm... That's for you, Mr. DJ. It looks like a storm might be coming in. This place is quite run down. It looks deserted, too. Wait, did I take away Pom Pom? I did, right? I should probably have that back. It's a battered old factory, judging from its design. I'd say it dates from the period when manned production techniques were still used. It appears abandoned. That's the wrong... What? Gillian, John needs our backup! We have to find him quickly! Oh no! What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean Jacques. Gillian, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider-like robot used by Snatchers as security devices. Though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme caution. Needlers. All right, we're going in. Keep your blaster ready. A button to draw your blaster. Oh. Die, punk. We've entered the factory. This is the spot where he placed the video call. Uh, nothing's moving. What happened to Jean? Uh, can't pick up anything special. Nothing in the area? Where is Jean Shock anyway? I guess there's really nothing nowhere. Uh... The building's severely damaged. It should be demolished. Okay, I guess I'll just go forward. Alright! Moving ahead. Whoa! What the? <laughs> it's Little John! Little John? Fourth death. Metal. Anything on your sensors? No, nothing. We're the only thing moving. Okay. Okay. I guess let's investigate. Uh. Put the little jet. Little John? Little John? There's no way to repair damage this bad. Hmm.
I guess let's go forward. Anything? Not picking up any sounds. Metal, anything on your sensors? No, nothing. Not the only thing moving. Hmm. Motion detector? No, I only just did this. Uh... Besides the large pillar across the floor, nothing is unusual. Things are scattered all over the floor. Watch your step. Oh, okay, I guess we just... Oh! That looks like a person. Oh my god! Oh, dear god! Sean! Gibson, it's Gibson! My god, his head's been twisted completely off! Don't lose your head! He's still warm! His head has been twisted off! Oh my god! Metal, anything on your sensors? Okay, so we're safe for now. There's a key in one of his pockets. Okay. Um... Is that a video phone? I wish that was you! No, nine no, is blocking. Okay. Hmm. Key? This item is quite an antique. Drop his blaster here. It's been crushed flat. Now oh, take incredible strength. See nothing else. Evidence of a struggle. That's an old pet blaster. It's definitely Sean's. Still warm. Probably so a fire in several shots. Okay. Where's the key for? Metal, hang on to it as evidence. Uh, okay. It's an old pipe blaster. It's definitely Sean's. Look, holding something in his right hand. His, it's hair. He's holding several strands of hair. There's skin tissue under his nails, probably from scratching his attacker. Uh, skin sample. And some version of Gibson's back is facing the pillar. Huh. As in they twisted Gibson's entire score? Oh my god. Gruesome! Negative females. Now analyzing recovered hair sample. That's so cool. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One. Chromosomal analysis of cells from the papilla and root reveal 46XY. Subject is male. Two, huh? Wait. Color, brown. Hair structure reading of 65 indicates European subject wavy hair. Three. Attachment of root structure and thickness of the base of the strand suggest hair was pulled out of the fall. Wait. This strand of hair almost certainly came from a male European blood type A negative snatcher. Hmm. Blood and hair is from different? That's huh.
That seems normal. I, I guess? Huh? Is that important? I guess. Now make an incision in John's stomach to analyze organic compounds. This little fucked up. We're gonna see his Neo Kobe pizza. Analysis complete. Results on the display. Human Results DNA. Analysis indicate the organic compounds are primarily composed proteins that have been exposed to digestive acids for approximately three hours. Amino acid structure of the protein suggests the meat is that of a buffalo. Buffalo? Okay. Uh, hmm. Ah, yeah, me too. I guess we keep investigating Gibson. Holding, maybe? There's a scrap of paper in one of his pockets. Search the house? written on ordinary paper. Search the house. What is this supposed to mean? Who knows? This could be Jean's last word. No, keep this as evidence. What in the world happened here? Let's check Little John. Okay. So I guess we've gotten everything here. So let's go back. And then move one more time. And let's investigate this guy. Oh, uh, Little John. The charring indicates he was hit by fire from a laser cannon. All his circuits are burned completely through. His functions have been completely terminated. His memory may be all or partially intact. Without Gibson, our memory may be our only clue. Can we just take it? Can we... Well, what do you think? Can you get this memory chip out of there in one piece? I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Whoa. Just like that, you joinked it out of him? Well, anything in motion? Okay, well, I guess we can leave now. Well, I guess we're done! Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, I thought they scared me. Uh, you can only find a little John's memory chip. Let's see if anything can help with their investigation. Water should be from the sprinkler. Hydrate. Yeah, you're correct. Huh. So I guess there's more stuff for Gillian? That dog. Uh, I'm reading movement. Movement! Oh god. Uh Woo! Who was that? There's two people! Snatchers? You need a backwards snapback that says swag on it? Little creature. A dead end. Where did the snipers go? You picking up anything? We're the only things moving. I don't see any way out from here. Huh. This is suspicious. Are you okay, Gillian? I don't... <gasps> Is this a bomb? Gillian, stop sneezing! 
That's a we're gonna blow up, Oomphy. It's a bomb. <laughs> oh! Are you okay? That's for tree. Let's get out of here. Try turning up the volume on the TV. Uh, hello, Snacko. Uh, welcome in. That's a bomb. Is it on? No. Oh my god, it's a bomb. Oh my god, it's a bomb. Oh! A time bomb. Oh, that's a good spray. I should anything can happen. I should save. Uh, I'll just do one for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I already said hello. Well, hello again, Snacko. Uh, yeah, we continue play. Uh, we get the fuck out of here. Who's video calling us? What? 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 I hope I'm not doing too good. Let's take one hit. Okay. Let's take another hit. Okay, I'm... Okay, uh, it's on purpose. I'm playing that on purpose. I'm... I'm resetting the rank. Uh... I'm actually good at video games. Woo! The motion reading has vanished. You got hit four times? Thanks, Metal. Blood flow stop. Disinfection complete. Now injecting Yunker's blood. Fluid supplement and painkillers. Finally, some nano machine healing agents. Youch! Oh! That's be sufficient for the time being. That was close. Gotta be more careful. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. There's a bomb. We're getting out of here. What's wrong with you? Hurry it up! I am incapable of locomotion! Huh? What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go! It's gonna blow! Please save yourself! I am paralyzed with fear! <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> this fear. stupid robot! Come on! Whoa! Oh my god! That's so loud. Volume turned up. Damn snatchers. <laughs> there is no need for concern. I have stored all the information about the evidence and the area in my memory. Thank we you. Should return to Junker headquarters. Thank you very much, Metal. We've returned to Junker headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I'm sorry. I, wish <laughs> I, I do remember Koja. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. This is the chief's office. Well, see, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so Metal I know all about Gear? what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. Okay. 
Okay. Why are all the characters in this game made out of squares? Because it's the 1994. Is this a Minecraft mod? No, silly. <sighs> uh, let's look at cheap. Something hanging from my nose. Uh, based on the analysis of the hair strands he was grasping, the skin tissue found under his nails. We're reasonably certain that at least one male and one female snatcher were involved in killing him. You've got to learn what he was up to. What was he after? What was he investigating when he was killed? Find that out. We should start by checking out the detective's room and then his home. Okay. He must have learned something important about them, but he didn't tell me a thing. He never said anything unless he was absolutely sure of himself. Aw, oh, dude. Oh, his daughter. Oh, no. Katrina's the real victim in this. I let her know what happened, but it had to be a great shock to her. Oh, no. Ah, no. How's that wound doing? I have already injected him with nano so we'll have him back to full strength in no time. Hang in there, Seed. Thank you very much, Chief. Alright, let's check out Gibson's room. So we had Buffalo three hours before. We should investigate Jean's personal items. We must learn what he was doing before he was killed. Well, let's investigate his desk. Old style working desk. It has drawers installed. I'm afraid it's locked. I cannot open it. We have his key! I think we have his key. Could we have messed missed that if we didn't have the key? Oh! There's a coat hanging inside the locker. Check the pockets of the coat. Alright. A chess piece! What is that, a bishop? There's nothing else in the coat. A chess piece. That's a chess piece made out of wood. Chess piece. This could mean something, Metal. Let's hang on to it as evidence. I'm sure it must mean something. True. This is the locker Jean was using. Jean Junker coat. Probably spare. Now let's investigate the best drawer. Oh, possessions. Use. Key. There's something in the drawer. Capsules. Yo, pill poppin'. And a disc. What kind of medicine is this? I'll perform an analysis. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. We did that. It looks like Jean's stomach was really in terrible shape. And what was he doing eating buffalo? It seems a little unusual. Perhaps there was some reason that he had to eat buffalo. I guess. Hmm. Five inch floppy disk. Five inch? Nobody uses those things anymore. Floppy disk for a personal computer. It has something to do with John's investigation. I guess I'll take the capsule too. Sometimes, no matter how much it brings you pain, some stuff just tastes good. Like you with eggnog? Oh, careful. Can you attack your H2 blocker with your 4 4 giant? Whew. Uh, there's only one drawer. Okay. So, we've investigated everything. So, I guess it's for the computer? Unless there's a computer here. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh... Actually, would the computer even actually if the floppy disks are old, would they even have it? Like, Hmm. 
That's true. I guess. Maybe. Oh, whoo. is he dead? Oh, he's taking a nap. Well, so our new junker has returned. Oh, come on, buddy. I register high alcohol levels. Harry is intoxicated. I really, you know, I really thought you were better than that. <laughs> Harry. What kind of backup was that supposed to be? Gillian's portrait is so good. If you were a better junker than no. that, Jean, Jean wouldn't have had to die out there. Harry, that statement is incorrect. Don't worry about it, Metal. Harry's right. Jean. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's not your fault. <laughs> Metal, would you give Harry the memory chip we pulled out of Little John? Of course. Harry, this is Little John's memory chip. Ah. Uh... <laughs> well, I, you know. Uh, well, you know, I guess, you know, you know, uh, I'm all right now, Gillian. You can't see depressed. <laughs> My heart is in great pain. Bell, we can smell. We can smell her! That's actually a thing we can do! Oh my god, smell woman. Uh... I've never heard of any places that serve buffalo. I'm so sorry for the daughter, yeah. Just what do you think you're doing investigating her? Oh, shut up, it was just a joke. Smell woman. Smell woman? Okay. Sniff, sniff! That's a really great scent! If you keep that up, I may dislike you immensely. Oh my god. Uh, let's show her the disc. Ah, oh, shit. Uh... Maybe... Chess piece? Maybe the chief would know. Maybe the chief would know. Maybe the chief would know. Uh, show evidence. This. Okay. Yeah. It's true. It would be valuable information. What about chess piece? I've never played that game. Hey, you may know something. Okay. Well. You sobered up, buddy. Maybe buffalo? Uh, use card. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Junker, Snatchers, the appropriate transportation, politics, culture science, buffalo, culture sports. Fire zoo, no covered pizza, retinal horseshoe tearing, air surfing, dragon horse. Museum of Living Genes, featuring live animals, endangered or extinct species only, recreated through genetic manipulation, created by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, in order to recreate culture extinct mammal, bird species, besides caring for living animals. Library of Frozen Genetic Samples, successful birth of a unicorn? Huh? The baby unicorn has... what? So the BioZoo has... Uh, a buffalo, right? So maybe that's where he was at? Oh, hello, Wrench. Did you kill Mr. Snatcher yet? No, not yet. They killed our friend, Jean, Jean Jack. And we gotta avenge his death. 
What's a dragon horse? A sport involving the use of a winged horse. Huh? Developed from ponies, dragon horses capable of 50 meters of continuous flight? What the? A 30 second flight covering 80 meters? That's insane. Huh. A uh, U-horse, yeah. So they do have buffaloes here. That's okay. So... Isn't a dragon horse just a Kirin? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's go to the front. Hi, Gillian. How's the investigation going? Uh, turbo cycle. I've had no check to do this. Got a couple leads. Yes, Mike. How are you and your wife doing? I haven't talked to her in a while. Not even on the video phone. No. That's right. Come to think of it, I have her number written down at home. Be careful, Gillian. I guess we should go home? Talk to our wife? Uh... Yeah, sure. We'll go home. And then we'll talk to our wife. And then we'll go to Gibson's house. Where hopefully we can use his computer. To, uh, check the floppy disk. This is your building, Gillian. Oh! You mean I have a place to live, too? Thank you, Draconic. We've been married for three years. Just tone it down, Gillian. I know you've lost your memory, but isn't that carrying the act a bit too far? It's just trying to make things a little more fun for the folks playing the game? Goodness. 20th century construction, but the building has been completely renovated. Being right at the dividing line between the north and south, the population here is not particularly high, and no convenient stores or delis. Shopping is really a pain. Ah, uh, yeah. Whoa, sick! Oh my god! We're a widower? What? Goodness. Uh, okay. I read no motion. No interest in women. That is most unfortunate. What? Huh? There's a single sofa bed. Overall, or other Spartan and bland room. <laughs> what the fuck, Metal? Gillian, there's the photograph on the shelf. It's a very special picture for me. It's a picture of Jamie! Aww. The wife you're separated from. She is very attractive. You read really fast, you've noticed? Uh... Yeah. I, you know, I went to... I had a liberal arts undergrad, I had to read fast. Come to think of it, I wrote Jamie's video phone number on the back of that picture. Alright, let's call wife. 39344. Four. Do I have to write this down? Or will Metal remember it? Alright, let's use the video phone. Call. Oh my god. Uh, three. Nine. Three, four, four, four. Wife, please. Oh, is that you, Gillian? I was just getting to sleep. <laughs> Instantly! Ask out on date, show possession. What's this? Just... JB, I'm not sure how to say this, but I really want to make it up with you. I want to try again. Please don't say that, Gillian. Right now, I think the two of us are better off apart. I'm sure of it. Looks like the junker business is more dangerous than I thought it would be. Gillian? But it's still not as bad as boot camp. I'm a lot more relaxing. I'm a lot more relaxed working like, like this as a junker. Aren't you pushing yourself too hard? Well, it's pretty scary sometimes, so now I've got a definite goal of something to live for. The marriage save... save 
Save your simulation in the middle of our crime solving murder mystery game. Yeah, we gotta up our points with our wife. We gotta get the good wife end. We live near each other? We can meet any time? Alright. Uh... How are you? So how are you doing? I'm greeting... I'm getting by alright. How are you, Gillian? Are you eating properly? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I miss your great... Oh, this... P -s -p -s -p -s -p -s what? Pasquetti? Oh, that's cute. You still call it that? Uh... Going, Jamie? Are you still working at Kobe Pharmaceuticals? Yes, this work really suits me. I almost feel like I've been doing it for years. Oh, doing it for years? Cough, cough. Any sign your memory may be coming back? I'm afraid not. I can't remember anything about living together with you or having fun together. It's the same for me. I can't remember anything before I woke up in the bed in the army hospital. Biscotti and collect $20? Uh, let's not ask for a snatchers. What kind of dreams you've had lately? Are you still saying the same one? It's the same one over and over again. That one, huh? I'm carrying a child and running away from a fire. But no matter how much I run, the fire doesn't get any further away. It gets hotter and hotter until I can't stand it. Then I leave the child and run. You leave the child? No! Cold as ice. I want to see the same dream as you? I hate that dream. I wouldn't want anyone else to see it. You might have something to do with her past. Let's ask her out on a date to the zoo. Why don't we visit the bio zoo? I, I hear a baby unicorn's been built over there. There's an ex exhibition of works by Carr Meissen Hoffman. I'm sorry, Gillian. I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing yet. Oh, okay, well, we tried. We shot our shot. What's under that negligee? What are you talking about, Gillian? Well, you know, I bet you're not wearing anything. What? Gillian, what the fuck? I don't wear any. Huh? You gotta pull the sheets back? The sheets? Pull it off? What the fuck, Gillian? Gillian, what the fuck? Huh? What the fuck? Billy? Huh? <laughs> Has anything funny happened to you lately? Gillian, if I was a snatcher, could you kill me? Why are you asking me questions? Both these people are crazy. I don't know, I really don't know. I've always liked that part of your personality, but Gillian, be careful. Can you kill them? That's the job you're doing. Oh my fucking god. Huh? Let's, let's show her, uh... Let's show her this. A floppy disk? Jeez, I haven't seen one of those in ages. Okay, well. Oh my god. Future life sure is wacky. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, how are you feeling? I don't care if my memory comes back. I just want a second chance with you, Jamie. Gillian, I'm just so sick of our hurting each other. Memories are important for any couple. I can't handle a life of lies. Holy crap. Okay, I think we're done here. That's... I figured this out before becoming a junker. There's a snatch inside of every one of us. I think it's our own doubt and suspicions which create them. You may be right. If you all just trusted one another, we could probably drive them out. Of course, that is self breeds suspicion. Junkers shouldn't let themselves get so emotional. I suppose you're right. Yeah, that right. word. It's good talking to you. Take care. Bye. Talk to you later, Gillian. Bye. What the f? Crazy together is right. Oh my god. Snatch I hardly know her. Oh my god. That I need to I need to I need to breathe. Oh my god. I don't expect I didn't expect Jamie to be insane. Nothing noteworthy. Uh The sorrow of the lonely man. There may be some reason why this fellow is living alone, even though he's over 30. <gasps> You're going to be doing the housework from here on out. Did you say something? What a wonderful apartment you have here. Oh my god. Bathroom? Anything in here? The sink is completely normal. Use it with confidence. 
The floor and walls are tile covered. This toilet has the latest health pot, physical fitness, analyzer, and said. What is it, like a German toilet? There's a bottle of perfume and a razor. It appears to be a very standard bathroom. A low-cost entry, energy-conserving unit, pipe sink, and shower has been installed. Low-cost will excuse me. Smell? What? He, he has his wife's perfume! Gilly! Love it alone in your 30s beats living in your parents' house in your 30s? Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, let's... Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the Gibson's house. We'll call their wife. Uh... Go to the turbo cycle. Uh, Gibson's house. So we know he ate buffalo. We know he has a chess piece. We know... We're trying to investigate the floppy disk, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. This is Gibson's house. Uh, investigate. Uh, there we go. The roads and sidewalks are well maintained. I read potions. Someone is inside. Oh, let's just knock on the door then. Uh, let's knock on the door. Katrina, are you in there? Who is it? Uh, you're Katrina, right? I'm a junker. I just started down at Junker Headquarters. My name's Gillian Seed. I'm pretty sure Keith would have let her know. Show me some proof. Proof? Your Junker ID, of course. Okay, you backseater. Uh, show. Junker ID. Well, looks genuine to me. I can't trust you with just that. How old is my father? If you're a real Junker, you'd know. Eyes. Uh, 44. Uh. 44. That's totally wrong. You're no Junker, are you? Is he 55? 40... 45. Uh, 55. Oh. Well, okay, we'll just go check. Uh, well, we gotta go to the headquarters. Uh, and then John Jack. I wonder if uh, Harry is sobered up. Welcome back, Gillian. Making any progress? Uh, no. <laughs> um, he's probably still drunk, right? No, oh, he's sobered up. I'll just pretend you're Sean and do the best that I can. I've injected several dano machines to help heal the wounds. They have to take care of it. And you're still young. You'll get over it quick. Um, ask... Buffalo Restaurant. Buffalo? I didn't need any of that weird stuff. <laughs> um, show... Evidence... Disc. Be sure to use any 5-inch discs here at Drunker HQ. PC-68 at home? Okay. Uh... Harry would know about chess. Show him... Evidence. Chess piece. Looks like a queen to me. Okay. Well. He was a little hard-headed like me. But he was a good guy. We were the same age, you know. Oh, okay. So, 55. Wait. Huh? I'll just go to Jordan. 
It is 55? That's what I thought. Uh, Kieran. Uh, he's Jordan. I'm Jordan. Burp, 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 burp. Here's a confirmed Gillian seed. Search of information need. Load ID file. Uh, Sean? Sean. No. Sean. John Jack Gibson, runner, age 55, 100, 180, so he couldn't be, 185, so he could not be snatched. Officer, please, since 2015. Oh my god. Still by snatcher. Requests transferred to the. No! They already updated his death. Okay. Uh. The front. Hi, Gillian. How's the investigation going? Very bad. My wife still hates me. We've boarded the turbo cycle. Where would you like to go? The Gibson house. So we have a queen. We need to touch his PC 68. We've arrived at the John Jack Gibson house. We knock on the door. Hey, it's me. I'm the cops. Uh, investigate. Go that. No, it's the wrong the one. Uh, possessions. Chill. Gibson's age, 55. That's right, so I'll suggest something about myself. Ugh. So that means you should, okay, she's a very smart girl. What? One type birth? This is, Unique Earthmark. This ain't it. Well, we gotta go back. Oh, okay. Woo! Uh, shape? Triangle. Oh no, my illiteracy. Triangle. That's not. Uh, triangle. Okay, okay. This is embarrassing. Imagine triangle, triangle, triangle. <laughs> Imagine treating a cop like this. They would just kick your door down. <sighs> All right, Gilly, I guess is a good guy. Hey, Micah. Hello, back again. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind me, just going to Google. Uh, use Jordan. Uh, load ID file. Enter name, Katrina. Katrina. Uh, Katrina. Katrina Gibson. Age 18, 160, blood type. Uh, only down to one Miss 17 contest in 2046. Currently a popular model? 
This likes identifiable heart-shaped birthmark on inner thigh. Okay. Dislikes that? I mean, I guess. Um, where should we go? To the front. Hello again, Micah. Bye bye. Uh, the turbo cycle. Sounds like an SMT monster. Triangle. Uh, Gibson House. If she asks us the third question and we have to go back, I'm going to piss my pants. Can you imagine though just like treating the police like this? Maybe Neo Kobe is alright. Knock on the door. Hey Katrina, we're back! Hey, what's up? Third time tonight, let's go! Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Koja. Uh one more time, what type of mark do I have in my heart? Heart. Okay, so it's a birthmark. What makes me spell birthmark? Uh, birth. That's right, the shape. H. T R T heart. Heart shaped. Uh and put your answer. Hi. Fifth. Fifth. Hi. Well, that's pretty embarrassing, but it looks like the real thing. Wait a minute, I'll open the door. Gillian, stop skeezing on an 18-year-old. I'm very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Sean's daughter. I'm... I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Steed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner... Your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Seed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow? I knew it was a dangerous job. Katrina, that's... Well, I'm a Junker's daughter. Do you think you'll be all right by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. No! Katrina, are you sure? No! Okay, Junker, you've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. No. Okay, Katrina, you're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation. Katrina! No! Hey, so about the... PC-68. Um, it's about chess. Uh, do something. Console? Wipe away tears? Uh, let's console. Katrina, I'm sure all this is quite a shock. Don't worry, I'm here for you anytime. You can lean on me. Oh, Gillian, spare us, please! Thank you. You're really such a nice man. Okay, let's, that's all. Let's not do anything worse. Let's ask about the Buffalo restaurant. Do you know of any place that serves buffalo? We found buffalo in your dad's stomach. Buffalo? We never had that here. Gross! Buffalo? I'd never eat that. Buffalo's pretty tasty, actually. If we get the chance. I'm just a spoiled brat who never cared about her parents. Oh. I didn't really talk much with my dad lately. He was always so busy investigating stuff. Cooped up in that study. I guess we gotta go to the study. A computer? That's one that my dad studied. None of these items are replicas. They're all genuine antiques. None of this stuff is really valuable. He said it was all used. 
He's paid a lot of attention to the core and layout of the place. Pretty stupid since there were only two of us living here. Ah! Uh, we passed everything. I don't want to do anything else. I guess let's go to the study. Do you mind if I take a look in your study? Go ahead. This is Gibson's study. This is my dad's study. I haven't touched a thing. That's just the way he left it before he died. Uh, investigate evidence chess piece. That's a wooden chess piece. Let's look at the chessboard. The pieces are very neatly arranged. My dad really liked chess, but he always seemed disappointed because I couldn't play. Let's investigate chessboard. The black queen is missing. I see. The queen is missing, eh? The design of the set matches that of the pieces we found in John's coat. So let's do it. It was taken from the chest at John's home. What could it mean? John really liked puzzles. This must be some sort of secret meeting. Um... No. So, show... Show evidence? So, investigate evidence chess piece? Investigate chess board? Well, we have it. Ah, do we? Uh, let's look at the computer. There's a bottle, a photograph, a photograph, and a chess board. Investigate photo. Figure seems to be years old. John looks rather really young. Investigate a uh, bottle. Now analyze it. Oh, the Konami bag. It is sunscreen. Wait, sunscreen? The standard type is designed to block ultraviolet rays. The store with everything. Plato's Cavern. Maybe they have buffalo. Huh. Well, we're looting polluting his house. Oh, uh, window. See the garden from here. Wow, his own house with a garden yeah, is rich. Uh, I have like steam tiny, just like Sean. Wait, there's a personal computer here. Do something. No. Investigate. Computer. It has a 5 inch disk drive installed. 5 inch? Well, then that disk must be for this machine. Let's try to see if we can read it. Uh, positions. Use. This. So this PC68 on and see if we can read the disk. So the house in Search the House was referring to Gibson's house. That exclamation point was not an exclamation point at all. It was a symbol for the 5 inch floppy disk. Look closely, the pattern matches the read white holes on the disk. The little dot represents the index hole. No doubt, John was worried something might happen for him. He read that disk for such an emergency. The machine is reading the disk! Here it is! Snatcher investigation file. Why do Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. Ah. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. 
These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a what? unique foul odor. Huh? Three, the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Look at Snow that Nine, cancer. a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow Nine can always be detected in places they appear. Snow Nine is an allergen, causing oh. throat pain and sneezing. That's why Gillian was sneezing. Four, possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is yeah, due to sunscreen's relevant. ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, besides working to prevent this skin cancer, snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin, which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in what? identifying the hospital where this is performed. Random. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. So that's it, huh? He found their weak point. And no doubt Jean was killed because they learned that he had found their hospital. No, dog! What's wrong with Alice? Is there something out there? A Wait. snatcher, maybe. Katrina, you stay here. Doggy. Uh, let's see. Uh, bush. What's the matter, Alice? Is something out there? Investigate. The shadows. Look at the bush. I I. <laughs> Good dog, good dog, what's the matter? Good dog, what's the matter? Oh my god, what the fuck? Don't scare me! What? Ah, uh, it's just a crow. Stupid bird. Uh, let's look. Let's, let's be really careful. Dog is a purebred Doberman Pinscher. Expensive breed with bloodlines and genetic purity guaranteed. There are many street lights here. I can't really see much. Uh, look. Okay, well, you say there's nothing. Huh. Reverend crime with plants. That's so dark, I can barely see anything. Okay, well, you know, let's save. Ah, uh, save it too, why not? Ah, oh, yeah, let's continue playing. Okay, um, return to the study. Don't worry, it was just a rave. Oh, really? Okay, so now we need to investigate the chessboard. So let's put the chessboard back. Ask her anything? Ah, this is our dog. Dad named her after her mom. Which. Ooh. Uh, cold. Poor buffalo, aren't they almost extinct? Yeah, so that's why they're at the bios here. But why is the black queen missing? So we do. Should, should we do this? I don't think we need to persuade. Ah, uh, Gillian! No, I didn't mean to push this option! Gillian, don't ask the 18 year old whose father hasn't been dead for 24 hours. Oh my god. Gillian! 
I... I don't know what to do with the chessboard. I'm so... Uh... I don't know any numbers. No... We don't know any... I don't know. I guess that was it. We go to the chief, we tell him about the thing. I guess let's go... Where's the exit? Let me give you my address and video phone number. And give me a call if anything comes up. Thanks again, Mr. Seed. Take care. We're at the Gibson residence. Um... I guess let's go back. Can we go to the hospital now? So I guess we'll talk to the chief and then maybe Harry about what we learned. And then right from there in the hospital. Hello, Micah. We, we did learn something new. Um, talk to the chief. How's the investigation going? Oh, uh, good. A place which is Buffalo? I can't help you there. It should have been three hours since you, so it must be with three hour count. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Show the disc. Yeah. Oh. I guess Dr. Like Harry. Oh, Gillian, I hear you're doing a pretty solid job. Uh, ask. Now machines? They're ultra small, now a sized robot that treat the body's wounds from the inside. I got this miniature medical staff reporting around inside, and it's perfect for someone like you who dislikes doctors. Especially Codus. He's no reason to the body at the host. Okay. So far, this game seems really cool. You're stuck versus cyberpunks? Yeah, this game's great. Uh, evidence. Good this. So that was on, so that was John 6, wasn't it? Hmm. That's a chess piece. It's like a queen. Investigate Harry? Would you stop that? We just tickled that man. Hmm. I don't... Oh, Gillian, how's he? Does it do something? Console? Persuade? No, 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 we don't do that. Hmm. I... Is there something I'm supposed to do with the chessboard? I guess let's go back and use the computer again. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent turbo cycle. So. Gillian, come on in. This is the Gibson's living room. Good to see you again. Uh, definitely the study. I guess we check the computer again. Press the game. Computer. Uh, look at computer. PC68 Genesis. Not been manufactured for 68 years. Oh, what junk shop? What junk shop? Personal computer. She's like a diary. Can't believe my dad left a message like that. Where did he get it? What junk shop? And then it's the only one like it left in the world. Where did he get it? He said it's over 50 years old. He always took good care of it. Hmm. Do we wipe away your tears? Weird. I don't like being a skeezy person. Uh... A 
I can't believe this snatch just reasons of something like this. Can we look up Plato's cave, maybe? I'm kind of stumped. This is... Does it hold your hand? I don't know, I'm stumped. So we have do something. Uh, how about a dog? Uh, ask about Buffalo restaurant? Oh no, poor Buffalo. I don't think I was... Ask about Gibson? Oh, Dad. I'm sorry, I'm sure you don't want to think about that. If I know what's going to happen, it should have been nice to him. Oh, you should tell your wife how you feel! We did! She rejected us. Hmm. We can check our apartment. I don't think there's anything there. So what information do we have? I guess we look up hospitals, maybe? Hmm. Welcome back, you are making progress, yes. A little. Uh... Use positions. I guess show her everything. Oh yeah, yeah, sounds good. Maybe she'll know about Plato's cave. It's an old adventure game. We had to show everybody everything. How's oh, the chief's office? We are the chief's office. How's the identification go? Seed possessions. Show. Evidence. Sunscreen. If Gibson theory was right, they may be using sunscreen. Uh, show. So the house was his own house. Hmm. Turn up as captures weak point, huh? Okay. You need to find out where they serve buffalo around here. Even though he had an ulcer, he was eating buffalo. Buffalo isn't something you eat. They provide you with a big lead in your investigation. Okay, so I guess ask everyone about buffalo. As a matter of fact, I don't know either. Okay, well... Uh... Oh, why not, right? Oh, Sean! Investigate... Evidence... Uh, sunscreen. The store with everything. Plato's Cavern. We might learn something if we check out the place this was bought. Okay. Ask. Well, is it the computer now? Computer. Google. Play those cavern. Uh, ask. Computer? Use Jordan. Whoa. You mean to tell them Buffalo don't actually have wings? Iliarch. <laughs> you mean to tell me buffalo don't actually have wings? Wait a minute. Hey, you're right. Or do they? Wait. What are buffalo wings? Uh, old tax file. History, uh, stashers, the Kobe, transportation, politics. No. If we put in Plato, what's gonna pop up? The catastrophe. Witch hunt. Nuclear elimination. No, no, no. We don't have time for that. Hmm. 
Okay, if we type in Play-Doh, what's gonna come up? Oh, thank you for the bits, uh, Draconic. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, that's my shot in the dark. Uh... No magic names. Quit ID. So we need to find a restaurant that serves buffalo, or... Let's go to the detective's desk, I guess. about things no hmm ask hmm. Napoleon might know something what who's Napoleon that Chinese informant John was using he's known ever since he was a science cop the fuck is a science cop? Well, I've heard about him, but I've never met him. Why don't you track him down? After all, it is about Sean. He might have left some kind of clue, a video phone or something. Well, I've heard about him, but I've never met him. So, Napoleon? Let's use Jordan. I'm Jordan. Uh. I wanna. It's gonna be funny if we put in Napoleon and this gives us Napoleon, like Bonaparte. What's your name? Na Leon. Leon. I think that's how you spell it. Oh, Napoleon Bonaparte. 1769-1821, aka Napoleon the First, aka the Little Corporal, Emperor of the French. Is the video, is this video, is this phone number going to be his birth? Let me write this down. Man, just 10 years. A brilliant military strategist, he deposed the French directory and proclaimed himself first consul, saying, oh. I am science cop. Hunt over your beaker sent at your illegal lab equipment you may have. Oh, thank you for the gun. Whoa! Uh, I don't have any beakers. Or illegal lab equipment. I thank you again for the bits. Uh, saying the famous lion, the revolution has ended, he proclaims himself emperor. His military political might gripped the continental Europe, but failed to encompass Great Britain. After disastrous winter campaign in Russia, he was forced to abdicate by a coalition of French marshals, having been exiled to the island of Elba, he escaped briefly, regained power, and was ultimately defeated at Waterloo, and exiled for life to the island of St. Helena, ending his final hundred-day reign. His codification of laws, the Napoleonic Code, still forms the basis of French civil law. Huh. Can we... Call. Uh, let's try this. There's no way. Oh. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. JT and T Neo Kobe. Thank you. Okay, so that wasn't it. Is it? Okay. The hmm. number you have reached is not in service at this time. Please I'm stumped. This is a recording. JTNT Neo Kobe. Maybe Harry knows about uh Napoleon or Katrina?
Hey, Gillian, how's it going these days? Do you know about Napoleon? Napoleon, I'm drinking it right now! No, the person. Jean really liked Napoleon, too. We spend a lot of time drinking it together. This is the last bottle. I found it in Jean's desk. No, the... Jean really liked Napoleon. Okay, well, let's investigate the bottle. This is odd. I thought that Harry only drank Japanese sake. What's this? Brandy, huh? What's this? There are numbers written on the label. Oh! <gasps> Yo! Nako says... They have no clue what's going on, but you're they're happy to be here? Oh, thank you. 39, 5, 6, 4... Okay, I can't hold it in. I absolutely have to pee. Война 
Hello. I hope that I hope you are not all sick of that depressing war song. Whew. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I write this down? Three nine five six four four. Okay, yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wash it. I'm back. Oh, hello, Reddy. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Yes. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, it does not appear to have a date of any kind. Oh, did I not? Oh, sorry for the flashing. Fuck you, that song is perfect. I love it. I mean, I like it too, but... Napoleon. Maybe it has some of the connection with the informer that John was using. More flashing? Okay, wait. Is this enough? Okay, that's okay. I can't. That's not even a funny joke. Uh, but hello, you. Welcome. That works too well to be a coincidence. A video phone number, as Micah suggested. Okay, so... Video phone. Napoleon. Uh, call. I just wrote it down. I... Fucked up. I have uh, a piece of paper that is all of the solutions to Silent Hill 1. Uh, and then also some important medical information. So I just can't throw it away now. It was the same piece of paper I had on my desk for Silent Hill. And then also I was, you know, talking to my healthcare provider. And then I just can't throw it away. And it's just funny. Uh, three, nine, five, six, four, four. Cool. Uh, who the hell are you? I'm an acquaintance of Gibson. I need some information. You an investigator too, huh? Can't trust him. All right. True. Let's they can. The password. The password? The revolution uh is finished. Is it over? Or is finished. Over. Evolution is over. Ah! No, it's it's finished. It's finished. Uh. Well, just, just 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 call him again. Ah yeah 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 yeah. Three nine. Five, six, four, four. What, you again? What do you want? More information? Let's start. I need your help. Why don't you give me the password? The 100 day rule? 100 day rule. 100 day. Is this person just going to ask me a tr Napoleon trivia question? It's your choice. What do you mean? 100 day march? Oh my god. Okay, we'll call him one more time. We have to put it in manually every time. This is an old game. Uh. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. The 100 day march? Okay, okay, okay. All right, we'll go Google Napoleon. Ah. This is funny. Uh, we move to theater room. We Google Napoleon. Yes, thank you, Michael Jordan. In a P not pole. Did you? Own. Napoleon Bonaparte, the little corporal, real strategist, proclaimed himself for a cut. The revolution is ended. Uh, a military political might grip the continental Europe, was forced to advocate by coalition British marshals, having been exiled. Excellent for life on the St. Helena. 100 day rain! Oh my god. Napoleonic code. Okay, quit. ID file. Uh, quit. Thank you for using Trojan. Yes, yes, yes. Use Metal Gear. Video phone. Napoleon. Uh, we call three nine uh five four six six five six four four. Don't ask me to spell corporal. No one can spell corporal. It is finished. It is ended. <laughs> it is ended. It's even a chat! My brain! My net-sized brain is ended. Whew. You seem pretty real to me. Meet me at Alton Plaza in the EXG district. I'll see you there. We gotta go visit him, I guess. Uh, move. To the front. I'm gonna go the turbo cycle. Hi, hey, Gillian. How's the investigation going? Oh. Uh... Okay, well. Uh, we go to Alton Plaza. Uh, yeah. This is Alton Plaza. <laughs> yeah, I told you this is a Christmas game. You gonna get cozy in bed? Watch me work myself? Yeah. This game's harder than I thought. This place is well known, has a rendezvous for couples, if you want. New plan! Off Earth! New life! Is the pull in here? I can't stand waiting, unless it's for a woman. Shut the Gillian, you're an awful person! I don't see any around you, so let me the pull in. The whole area is decked out in Christmas mood. I enjoy the warm atmosphere of the season. You're quite romantic, aren't you? Yellow Snatcher, it's so weird and amazing. Oh, you played this game before! Oh, look at the dinosaur! Some of the letters are burned out on that great meal sign over there. What's it say? Why don't you read it yourself, Gillian? Ooh. Ages ago, when you heard it from, from Kojambles? Ah, I see. I've never played it myself, but uh... I know it's a Kojima game. Uh, 
Here, him shopping sales are on display. It's the holiday season. People are moving busily here and there. Oh. The guy who was on the phone is headed this way? Is that him? Oh, hey. Well, well. So, you're the new Junker, eh? You Napoleon? Well, let's keep this short, okay? The Snatcher sees me here, and I'll be the next one eliminated. One of the best stories in gaming? Are you biased towards Cyberpunk? Ah, okay. I mean, Cyberpunk's cool. Before that, how about if you show me your Junker ID? True. You're the real thing, eh? With that little walking trash can with you, you stick out like a sore thumb anyway. Everyone's probably figured out by now. Hey, watch it! Oh, what do you want me for? Um... Yeah, Buffalo Cuisine or something. Geez, ask me out of the blue, something like that, something happened. Gibson's fucking dead. Did something happen to Gibson? Gibson was killed by a Snatcher. Do you know anything about it? What? Gibson got killed? He said something about Snatchers being after him. Yeah, I <laughs> I'm the new Junker. My name's Gillian Seed. Oh, yes, another one trying to hurry to his grave. What a pain! Why don't we just arrest this guy? What? No, tell me about Buffalo Cuisine. Gibson ate Buffalo somewhere just before he was killed. Any ideas? Follow up his trail. He was a little intuition. Do you know any places that serve Buffalo? Hmm, since the prohibition on treating Buffalo went into effect, almost nobody will touch the stuff. Well, I may have a few ideas, but I'm not charity, you know. Oh my goodness. Here, take it. Well, thank you. That's the only place in the Oakwood where there's serves buffalo. Yeah, there's a master at Outer Heaven. There's a masquerade club called Outer Heaven. I'm pretty sure they serve buffalo. Uh, it's quite a famous hangout in that particular industry. It's like a big masquerade party. Customers have to wear masks or whatever they can't get in. The masks, the place is pretty popular with a lot of VIPs in a lot of high places. Uh, I'm not doing this for fun, you know. I'm gonna need a little something to give me touch. <laughs> you guys! You really got nerve. Take it. As always, thank you so much. You'll be a good junker one of these days. I right, switched their voices. It's on 17th Street in HS District. Uh. Don't make me keep saying this. My information ain't cheap. Did we get everything? Oh, let's just show him the uh, sunscreen. Maybe he knows about Plato's. Sunscreen, what's that supposed to mean? It's got something to do with the snatchers. Really? Sunscreen? So would you mind letting me go for now? I guess we've got everything from them. I remember so old Gibson was young and good looking once. Gibson was carrying it. That's typical of him. Uh, hey, what do you think you're doing? Searching me. He's called Napoleon, but he's ethnic Chinese. Okay. Gillian, you... What's next? <laughs> Never fun. Uh... Uh, I guess... I don't do Liquid Sky, believe me. Uh... One of these days, I'll tell you I'm called Napoleon. Did you notice anything unusual with Gibson lately? Uh, I didn't hear from him for a while. It's the drug that's really popular right now. It stimulates nerve centers. Since you're on quite a trip out here, Mr. Big runs this island. Oh, Mr. Big. Yeah, sorry than that, you're finished. Who's Mr. Big? Uh, I guess... No. You don't know about Plato's character. 
Never touched the stuff myself. Okay, buddy. I guess, I guess, yeah. Call me again if you need something. Okay, well. Well, we know to go to the club now. Cozy mud with the Tobal Cool Whip. Hell yeah. Let's go to the club and then... We'll call it after the club. This game's good. I'm glad that it runs. Thank you, DC, again. I don't know how long this game is, but I think it's short. Oh! Oh wait, that's right, we need a mask. Shit. Welcome to Outer Heaven! Table for one? Oh, our buffalo is the best of the this song. Pucks! Gillian in the club ends up on. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. 200 degree holographic poster of Isabella Velvet. What do you mean 200 degree? Like Marilyn Monroe, the 21st century? Wow, I woke up. Will you just let us in? That's the real Isabella. You don't get very many chances to see such a famous actress in person, you know. Ah, wait a moment. We're in the middle of a masquerade with some kind of mask or costume. From Plato's Cavern. You purchase a mask over at Plato's Cavern. Or it's Plato's Cavern. Normally, only our staff wear this elaborate makeup. During masquerade, we have our customers dress up as well. Oh, glasses. This one? Oh my god. Oh my god, what did I just happen? That was the wrong button. Our staff's makeup is done by that famous special effects shop. Institutional images and wizardry. Hey now, hey. Isn't it industrial lights and magic? Hey now. Where's Plato's Cavern? We've got a special arrangement with Plato's Cavern. If you don't buy one of their masks, I'm afraid you can't get in. I'm afraid we don't let those types in. We have to maintain a certain degree of class, you know. What's the big problem with us? We're yeah. Come on, you must have seen the commercials for Plato's Cavern. I'm quite sure the phone number for the place is public information. Uh, poster? Look at the size of those peak. Get <laughs> Who's consultable staff to fish my hat? This area is the most lively in the real code. Oh, oh. That scared the shit out of me. That means. Are you okay, buddy? There's some Snow Nine around? Such a notice. Uh. Okay, that's not... Um... Marker! Okay. So... If it's a public place, the only place we've seen ads is... the plaza. So I guess we look for ads here? That startled this Nikki? Everything startles me. Uh So we look around here for ads, I guess. Oh great meals. Eat me. That is true. Dora saying boo startles me. 
There are advertisements in all these buildings. Okay, we actually did. There are many advertisements. Get full observation to reveal several things. There's an advertisement for the Player's Cavern! Yes, okay. Uh, there are many advertisements. No, 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 we need the... We need the Player's Cavern one. Sure enough. Hologram. Oh my, display of laundry. Over there, a little like billboard. What are you talking about? Those are kites. Okay, Gillian knows the difference. Oh, oh, 691170. Wait, it's just on the thing. Holy shit, that's so cool. Wait, that's sick, actually. Oh, I guess we just gotta wait for it to pass by again. I didn't catch it the first time. Oh, beer? Uh, Konami? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll call that one too. That's really cool. You have to actually like watch ads. Cult shop. If you want. New plan, off Earth, new life. It's not the simple stop playing the music. <laughs> oh, dubious. Trace it, anything you want. Real ad paced gameplay, just like mobile gaming. Did I miss the. Oh, okay, 6 9. 1 1. Oh, no. Okay. Let's call the Konami line. There, this one. Yeah. Uh, video phone? Let's call... Let's call the Konami line. Three, four. Three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight. That's why I wanted to play Snatcher, because it's a Christmas game. This is Miss... Hayasaka at Konami, thanks for your continued support. Finally, Konami's famous Snatcher will be released worldwide. We're so happy that Konami fans and fanatics will now be able to play this game. Although the characters in this game are all fictitious, after playing the game, I really felt that I knew the characters as real people. Also, this is the first game I've ever played that continually gave me strong feelings, just like watching a great movie. Gillian Seed, a man without memories. The romance of all the beautiful women around him! Also, the enigmatic, in, 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 bounty hunter, Random Hajil, and who could ever forget Gillian's psychic Metal Gear Mark II. I felt sad when things went bad for the characters and also learned many things about love and friendship. I'm sure everyone has seen a movie, read a book, or heard music that stays with you, and that you never forget Snatcher is the type of work. I hope it is for you, too. I'm very grateful that I was able to meet all of you in this game, and I want to continue helping to bring you exciting and moving software, so keep rooting for us. Bye bye now. Oh, that was neat. There was a in the ads. There was a, a Konami hotline, so I guess it was like a secret. So Plato's Cavern is six nine uh, one one seven zero. Oh. Maybe that was like a, a, a CEO or something of Konami at the time. Thank you for calling Plato's Cavern, the store with everything. May I help you? Huh? How do you only, eh? No doubt, it's because they're involved in the black market. Uh, about everything available at the best price required. No ID required. That's our motto here at Plato's Cavern, and there's none of that dark atmosphere that you find in so many other black market shops. First Plato's Cavern located work at the 5th Street. And San Onomi Arcade District, everything in that area is part of our organization. Okay, well, thank you very much. We look forward to serving you. Everything. Uh, don't call. You were stuck for a bit, but I think we're making good progress now. Uh, let us go to Plato's Cavern. Uh, 
Ah, it's that logo. I get it. It's more like a small city than one store. Everything in this area appears to be part of Plato's Cavern. Ooh. Uh, smell? Mmm, smells good. Coming from the food vendor, smells good, doesn't it? Gillian's always sniffing. They're the city's illegal citizens! It was my imagination. Or does that logo look like the Konami logo? Metal Gear? Huh? Konami owns Play-Doh? There are a lot of food stands. Yeah, I haven't had street food in a while. Uh, yeah. The whole place is crawling with rare of questionable types. Let's get into the store. We're inside Plato's Cavern. Uh, ask? Uh, yeah. Where'd you get that? Well, you know. Really? Well, you know your stuff. Outer Haven is that really hot masquerade club. These full fast masks are sold under exclusive arrangement with Outer Haven, you know. During the masquerade time, you'll have one of our masks on, or you can't get in. Mountains of stock are overpowering. It's almost difficult to tell goods and garbage apart. Hey now. He really seems to be on his guard. He may have a concealed weapon. Perhaps we should not search him. He's a pretty open kind of guy. <laughs> yep. I guess to just buy happiness. Hey, you can't buy that with money, you know. <laughs> what a stupid joke. Uh... All the customers seem to be rather suspicious types. I don't think investigating will do any good. Even high-class luxury items are available, but they're being sold about half the price of the legitimate shops. Uh, who's this guy? Well, this is the place. So the place next door, and the one next to that. The whole area is under one management. Well, you seem to know your stuff. That's about Outer Haven, right? you sell these model PC-68 personal computers here? No, not anymore. We had a few of those years ago, but they're long gone. All those weird collector guys bought them up. Um... Giving friends money gives some kind of title? That's kind of like buying happiness? Yeah. The show's really great. Talk class guest answers. Why don't you check it out? Let me buy your stupid mask. Oh my, they have those special full face masks here. Oh, I didn't realize it's the damn Konami Mao I had. These masks were designed and crafted by the famous makeup effects artist Rick Bakery. They are formed using precision laser tools. I bet you'd love this. Yeah, let me fucking. Oh! Uh. Hello. How are you, Umfi? They're made from special forms of rubber and polyethylene. These are limited production replicas. You know, pass it up now. You'll never get a. Yeah, I want to buy it. Hope you're doing well. Egyptian mummies and those Easter Island faces as well. They seem to be very well made. Those are our pride and joy, special face masks. That's all we have left. A full face mask, which one will it be? And made by Rick Bakery yourself, you know? We gotta go with the Moai. There's no way, like, don't even make it, like, chat. Come on, we. There's no way it's the mummy. I don't even want to make a poll, it's so obvious. Yeah, exactly. It's the Moai. Thank you very much. One Easter Island mask coming up. Well, 
Not our money. Uh, goodness. Uh, outer heaven. Welcome back to Outer Haven. No exceptions. You have to wear a mask for players' camp, huh? Soon after we get chased down by Snasher, let's shape like a big piper. Uh, mask. Let's try on the Island mask. Oh, that looks great on you. Yeah, I'll say. I feel like shit's gonna go down. What are you doing, Crash Reference to Moai? Yeah, I think it's a Konami, right? Ah, uh, yeah. What? That's the wrong button! Uh... Okay. No, we... Okay. Uh, positions. Use mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, move. Wrong side. Table for one. Oh, so sad. Yo, it's that uh Sparkster. Oh, look, it's the Contra guys. Oh, it's Goibon. That's Dracula. Oh, Simon Belmont. We're inside out of heaven. Uh, that's like a dancer. That's what Gillian would do. Oh! Was you give cards to reference Metal Gear and Parodius? Oh. During Masquerade, everyone has a mask or makeup on. It's possible to who's who. Everyone is dressed up as a character from my classical late 20th century video game. The people around this must be really into old time nostalgia. Oh god. The other customers are all dressed up in various costumes. It's to be showtime now. This guy behind the counter. The manager of the place. Uh call. Order Buffalo cuisine? I guess. I don't know what to do. Call a manager, maybe? Why are we calling the manager? Okay. Hello, can I help you with something? Uh, would you mind if I check this out? What? Are you one of those types? He seems to be built quite- we just felt them up. She'll be dancing here through the end of the month. Look, she's at it right now. She's between pictures at the moment. So we had her come dance for us. Real talk, pixel art's good. That's a good pixel plot. Yeah, this game's graphics are amazing. Uh, would you care to try some? It's really unique flavor. I'm afraid I don't know who that is. Do you have a photograph? Who is this? I'm afraid I don't know them. You see, nearly half of our operating hours is masquerade hours, so we wouldn't know if he's here or not. Okay, fair, true. Um. In the wrong joint, buddy. Forget about the check. Just get out of my place now. I fucked up. <laughs> no! Oh, time to buy the other mask now. Uh, uh. Reload save? No, no, no. I 
Uh, we'll just go back. Hee <laughs> hee. Wait, we can't. Oh, no, no. Let's exit. Hee <laughs> hee. How about now? Oops. Uh... Do we have to buy that other mask? Hey, it's not me. I'm not the I'm not the cringe bow high guy. It's me, the mummy. Um. How about that mask? I bet you're glad you bought it. Oopsie uh, oh. whoopsie, yeah, mate. I'll eat a little fucky wookie. Oopsie whoopsie. My little fucky wucky. Ah, uh, thank you, Koji. I appreciate it. A Santa suit? No, no, no. I will buy the Santa suit. Now I'm paging. Mr. Michael Kenyon. Michael Kenyon, please report to the customer service desk. This show is really great. Top class dancers, wanna check it out? You're practically one of their members. Uh, let's try this out thing. Here we go. It's your size. It looks fade on you. Hmm. It's not even stuck in you. It's great air circulation. That TTS is way funnier than it should be for me. There's only like four Russian ones, uh, and this I picked the one I like the best. Monster. Ah. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me. You still got the mask on. Oops. Ah, they're, they're, they're not going to be mad at me now. Um. No. Uh, pain. Did we call our wife? I don't want to reload the save. Maybe we just. Mm. I guess we talk to the chief. Maybe he has the help? Hi, Micah. Welcome back. Uh, I read that magazine, City Lifestyle. I would never see anything about it. I've heard of that. It's the Anything Store. The one based under the elevated bridge is pretty amazing. You've been there? Yeah, you'd never think you were in Japan. Let's go to the chief's office. We're at the chief's office. Is your investigation going well? Actually, it's not. You should be able to learn something about the guy you're trying to track down. Uh, outer heaven, eh? Do they have an inner heaven too? Okay. <laughs> Never heard of it. It's practically a symbol of the entire city. It's apparently much more open place than I thought. I hope we're not actually screwed. Oh, Gillian, here you do a pretty good job. What are you saying, boy? I'm not headed to heaven anytime soon. Eh, I've heard of that somewhere. That's the name of the post for a black market. Oh, really? I'll have to go there one of these days. Sure, like it. Hmm. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Stop it! I hate men who pull that kind of thing. <laughs> um. Mm. 
I don't know what to do. Surely we're not screwed. Maybe we'll call our wife and leave it there. I don't really know what I expect to be different here. Ah, uh, let's save in a different file. Uh. Oh goodness, who's for, uh, three, nine, three, four, four, three, nine, three, four, four, three, nine, three, four. Hello, wife. Oh, is that you, Gillian? I was just getting to sleep. Hang on, let's talk. Uh, how are you? We can make our own memories together. I don't know about this right now. Oh, she's still... Uh, I'm surprised that you keep in such a technical field. It surprises me. Still remember what to do. Keep myself busy so the loneliness doesn't have time to sink in. I guess it's going to take some time. Uh, let's go to... The meal. Come on, Jamie, talk to me. Over dinner or something. We haven't been out in so long. We're on this great place. It's called Outer Heaven. It's a masquerade bar. What do you think? I'm sorry, Gillian. I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing. Uh... What could we show her? I'll show her the mask. Jamie, would you like to look at this? I have the mask of one of those Easter Island statues. Are you still playing with toys? <laughs> That's Gibson, the one whose daughter is all alone now. That's really sad. Okay. If they don't let us in... I'll just call it. It's pretty late. Ah, the investigators from the other day is back. We hope that we can avoid the unpleasantness of other- Oh, we're in! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that looks great on you, investigator. Try to keep your agenda to the wraps. Table for one, please. Uh, okay. When are you going home? Call customers? Sparkster, Goemon, Mr. Ueda, Contra, Castlevania Pair. Let's talk about the Castlevania Pair. When are you going home? What? We haven't done nothing. Uh, ask about Gibson. Possessions show. Hold up. Okay. Alright. Thanks. This isn't working. Doesn't be able to get anything worthwhile. Oh, customers. Going on. Hey, don't bother me. What do you want anyway? Uh, 
Hmm. I'll call it the Contra guy. Let's order Buffalo cuisine. Hmm, Buffalo E. This is this is great. Okay. I'm Isabella Velvet. Some, what? Is she just gonna talk to us? Okay, Gilly, do not be a pervert. That's right. You know, I have a new holographic movie that starts shooting next month, and I have to start studying my lines, so... Uh, no, let's not ask for that. Uh, do something? Ask for an autograph? Sure, why not? Oh! Oh, uh, Doro! Doro, uh, 3 raid yet with 14 viewers. 14 viewers. Oh, I wanted to read you, but this game was too entertaining. That's right, I'm the mod. I have to do this. Snatching. Hello, Elzros. Doro, let's see. Welcome, Goblin.Best. Snatch your Owens? Yeah, I'm having a great time. Uh, I don't have a bot. What were you doing, Doro? Oh! Thank you for subscribing, Monday. I appreciate it. Wait, how come subs don't... Did the text-to-speech work? I'll just read it over in, the, in, the, in, the, in a stereotypical Russian accent. Um... Mastoyashi... Ruski... It's Ilya. Over there. Yeah, okay. You beat it. King of Crusher? I've not heard of that. Huh. Oh yeah, I have text to speech now, Dora. You can scare the shit out of me. I mean, don't do that. Save your money, but... It was an insane game? Yeah, I'll, I'll check the VOD. That is a problem with streaming. Jump Scott. Hello, Musui. Dora became 20 feet tall and destroyed everything? Haha. <laughs> King of Crusher, your Macro Daro Crusher. Macro Daro Crusher. Oh, yeah, Gillian Seed is a horrible, horrible little man who cannot keep it in his pants. Like right now, let's do this. What time do you get off work today? Oh, it's the worst thing. PSSST Ilya, don't be scared, but I am sending you bits. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you for the 100 bits for comic, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 10, Koji, and thank you for the 1. Be scared, Ilya. Be scared, Ilya. Okay, okay. If, I, if I'm playing the game and I'm not paying attention to chat, it'll get me. Are you trying to invite me somewhere? You have to come on stronger than that. Um, this guy, I might have meant somewhere. No, I can't remember. She seems like she might be able to remember. Okay, okay, so she does know. Wait, is this person a snatcher maybe? This is the guy who got sick after eating buffalo. I remember him. Oh! Considering it was like four hours ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, Stash is great. I'm loving this game so far. It wasn't just the other day. It wasn't Masquerade Hour. So I remember his face clearly. He seemed to be raiding around for one of our regular customers. A regular? He was going out of his way to eat buffalo, and then he spat up blood. I was really grossed out. You see, he was waiting for someone? He was following him. He left as soon as the other guy did. Uh, about that. 
man. Would you mind telling me a little about him? I don't know his name, but he was in here all the time, especially when we weren't running Masquerade Hour. Outside of Masquerade Hour? So that means you've seen his face. Do you remember him? I think so. Let's have her come down to the headquarters. We need to use Jordan and put together a montage. We can't take her to headquarters. She's a star actress. If the media were to find out about this, we'd never get any cooperation ever again. This is really a delicate issue. Although inconvenient, we should take down her description and then go back to headquarters to build a montage of her own. Uh, Tasted Min. Yeah, okay, let's try it out. What kind of shit do you like? Somebody really masculine who you can depend on. You know, the kind of guy who grabs you and says, Come on, baby, follow me. Metal Gear? Possessions. Uh, investigate Isabella? I'll investigate her. No, I think it's best if I handle it. Aren't you going to investigate me? No, that's not right! Um, uh, okay. Could you try to remember his distinguishing characteristics? Keep the description in mind. Afterwards, we can use it to put together a montage. Okay, I'll write it down. Like a real detective. What was the overall shape of his face? He had kind of a bony look. Bony. What about his eyes? He had this really piercing gaze. A threatening look. This isn't like. What kind of nose did he have? It was pointy. Okay, pointy. Um. Type of mouth. How about his mouth? He had thin lips. Uh, type of hair. How was he wearing his hair? It was sort of naturally flowing towards the back of his head. Widow's Peak. Peak. Didn't say the color though, that's suspicious. How old did you say he was? Ah, uh, 30s. Okay. Uh... Mm, okay. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Near Zero. I appreciate it. Uh, do something? Man. He was in here at all different times, so he probably doesn't have a job. He'll work regular hours. Investigate. No, I think that's it. You've been a tremendous help. Thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me. Alright, back to dancing. Okay. Two thousand credits! Two thousand credits for some buffalo! going home. This guy sneezed. Remember, he sneezed. So there's probably a snatcher here. I feel like I've bumbled into a lot of uh, missable things. Uh, let's go to Junker HQ. Streaming really is fun. Oh! Ah, shucks. Uh... Exit triple sec. I'm thirsty. I need more water. Uh... How's your day, Gillian? Are you making progress in your investigation? Yeah. No. Uh, let's go to Jordan. <laughs> uh, 
Um. Yeah, you're right. He's <laughs> right, Raven. Are confirmed as Gillian C. What sort of impression do you need? Great montage. Okay. You can use the scan database. Okay. Um, facial shape. A sort of bony look. Two is kind of bony. So is also five. Ah, uh, two. Uh, that doesn't seem right. What? Do I not know what bony is? Don't die. I'm good. I'm hydrating. Uh, piercing look. Uh, six. Piercing. Um, nose was pointy like hers. Uh, which of these is pointy? I guess one. You just realized they say police knots? No, this is stature. Uh, mouth with thin lips. Uh, I guess three. That guy's a horrible womanizer too. Just like Snake, haha. -ha. A hairstyle? He had a big widow's peak on swept hair. With the big widow's peak. Uh, scan database. No matches. Hmm. It has sort of a bony look. Which of these are bony? Three. Four? I was thinking that too. Video Kojima alone has to write one kind of protagonist minus Raiden. Oh! Possible match. This music fucks. The cell is teeth fucks. Possibility of match, 70%. Ivan Rodriguez, air surfer, 27 years old, address 522 South Atayado, SM District, caution, non-municipal data administration district. Should I go from Boktai? Possible number two, probability of match, 65%. Freddie Nielsen, taxi driver, no company affiliation, 29 years old, address Dormitor, Okamoto Apartment, 202 378, New Okamoto MR District, family, wife, Lisa, age 25. Now printing montage photograph. It's probably the person without a wife. To get snatched? Because if I was going to snatch somebody, has someone, anyone brought up the blood CD comment? No, you're the first. What's the blood CD? Front. Should we talk to the chief? Hi, Gillian. How goes the investigation? Uh, let's talk to the chief, actually. Maybe the chief has something. Uh, ask. How about the montage? You have to check those two out. But watch yourself while you're out there. Mm. Video wanted Snatcher coated in cute chemical that smells like blood. So as the system heats up, you'd smell blood? Oh, that's sick. I should have let him do that. Uh... 
Uh, I think it's Ivan. Because if you're gonna snatch somebody, you don't want to snatch somebody with a light. That's my that's my logical thinking. Didn't Kojima also want a game to destroy the disc when you die? That sounds like something Yoko Taro would want. You get the blood candle. I got a coffee candle. Oh my god. I got a coffee candle once, but it just made me hungry. Also, you don't really want coffee smell all the time. This is Ivan Rodriguez's neighborhood. According to the data in Jordan, this should be his neighborhood. This place is a real slum. Okay, Gillian, you cop. District data retrieval networks haven't been installed in this area. As such, there is virtually no data on the area on the Alpha 1 network. This region is almost completely isolated. Huh. This area is officially recognized slum. It is outside of the Municipal Data Administration District. I don't have any problem with illegal parking. More like illegal abandonment. Coffee smells a lot nicer when you don't drink. No, no, I like the smell of coffee, but I just didn't want it all the time. Many people apparently still live in there. Most seem reluctant to move on. Uh, this place is utterly filthy. There are a few free men here. Free men. What? You actually want me to investigate them? That's right. Please, Gillian, be responsible. Well, I guess we just look for Ivan. Where would we even begin to look for him around here? How about over there? Let's try them. Check it out, real careful, okay? Ah, this reeks. You don't even have a nose, Metal. Hey, what do you think you're doing? There's nothing suspicious here, just filth and grime. I'm the kind of tough grease that no air of no household cleanser can touch, that's right! New melted with hydrochloric action can handle all these heavy jobs? Killian? Killian, your stupid attempts at humor are more irritating than funny. <laughs> Kimuchiwaro. Killian is. Killian is you. Aww. The actual lifestyle is not unlike that of the homeless. See, they're gathered around a fire. How are they different from the homeless? Unlike the less fortunate, these people have chosen to live like this, often leaving good jobs to do so. It appears to be a form of rebellion towards the over-control of information by the central authorities. They are one of Neo Kobe's biggest problems. Okay, how do- oh, there's an ask button. I didn't- Hey, you guys. What? I need to talk to you. Yeah? Could you tell me anything about a band named Ivan Rodriguez? Was there anyone named that around here? You lied to me and you'll live to regret it. Now, now, calm yourself. I'm trying to remember. Uh, possessions, show, photo, montage. Do you know this man? Hmm? That's that idiot Ivan. You should know him. Yeah, that's the fool himself. Voluntarily falling through the lacks of cracks of late stage capitalism. Yeah, it does sound appealing, doesn't it? Occasionally, at least. I don't think I could do it myself, but more power to you. Where does Ivan live? He's in apartment three hundred one of this building. That's the kid with that weird board thing, right? The guy who's into sky, don't you? Here's always surfing. Oh, that guy, huh? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. He sky surfs. How long have you been living around here? I used to be part of the development team that put together the Alpha 1 network. Oh my god, a coder. So you were a programmer, huh? What happened? One day I took a peek at some secret data in Alpha 1. That's impossible! Secret on that system is possible for me! Anyhow, I saw enough garbage and scum on people, this society, and that file to last me a lifetime. People, they can seek pretty low, huh, you know? You may be right. Why don't you become free, too? Join us. You ever get sick of it? Just drop by. I've got to get my pass back before I can become free. Alpha One has data on the development team in there. Take a look at it when you get a chance. Okay, huh. Uh, ooh, 301. Third floor, eh? Well, you won't be able to escape out the window. What if you can fly through the sky? 
Uh, we're in Dwarf Parma 301. Let's save. Overwrite the data. Uh, continue. Uh, let me exit. That's the <laughs> Uh, investigate. It's the door. The door is locked. Investigate. The pipe. It's handwritten, but accurate. Old style door with a small people viewer installed. Uh, there's an electric meter. It appears to be for this apartment. Wait a minute, electricity is being used. I read motion. Someone is in the apartment. We, I mean... Uh... I've been on Rukas. This is definitely out of his apartment. Why don't we try knocking? Since we don't have a warrant, we can't unless we have a key. Who's there? So we think this person is a snatcher, so... Ivan Rodriguez, I'm a junker. Open up. I've got a few questions about you. What do you want? First, you open this door. All right, all right, just relax. Oh, are you prepared, Galen? It is an acceptor you're up against this time. Yeah, I know, and I don't want any more of those nanomachine injections either. Sorry it took so long. Oh shit, uh. <laughs> we, uh, that's not it. Did I kill him? He has only lost consciousness. Excellent shot, Gillian, hitting him in the hand like that. That's not <laughs> exactly how I planned it. Uh... Thurn was gone. That's what Gillian would do. Ah, oh, stop it! Stop it, man! Hey, what do you come out shooting for? You shot me once back there, you know? You got the wrong guy, I swear! Uh, gun. Take the gun. It's a Saturday night, RG11. This is a toy gun that has been modified to fire real shell. Okay, okay. Going for the headshot first? Yeah, I wanted to, you know, ice him. You aren't hurt too badly. Well, I took a hit, but considering the gun he used. Uh, I. Without a scanning warrant, I cannot perform a full analysis, but a visual induction relieves no cancerous skin lesions despite his deep tan. Oh, okay, well, hmm. A real toy gun. This is a great deal of waste packed into old model electric suction type cleaning device. Apparently, he isn't too concerned about cleanliness. Uh, you're a snatcher, aren't you? You got the wrong guy, I swear. He seems to be behaving strangely. Don't let your guard down. Come on, reveal yourself, snatcher. Gillian! Garbage. Aged organic materials and typical secretory organisms. Organisms? What? There's no evidence in this garbage that this is a snatcher. Uh. Gillian, more like Brillian. Cheap ray gun purchased in the black market. It looks just like the montage, but he's quite the suntan. This room's really dark. I don't see anything suspicious though. Uh. Investigate. Ah, uh, trophy. It appears to be a real trophy. I... Come on, reveal yourself, Snatcher! I don't know what you're talking about, man! I... Let's not... Let's... Okay, we're, we're a bad cop. Huh, okay, I guess... Oh, wait! Yeah, Snatchers can't get tans, because they get, get cancer. Okay, so we got the wrong guy. Uh, it says runner-up, 12th Neo Kobe, air surfering champions. I get it, he's an air surfer. Right, oh my god, Gillian! Well, man, don't shoot, don't shoot! 
Gillian, while your earlier shot is justifiable as self-defense, killing this suspect would violate Section oh, 5, Article 2 of the Junker Bylaws. You must first have concrete evidence that he is a snatcher. Damn. We should search his bathroom. We may find sunscreen there. Good point. Okay, let's move into the bathroom. What the fuck, Gillian? Smell? What a horrible smell. Yeah, we're not sneezing. You're right, you're right. Air surfing helmet, protector, and air fins are lying about. Uh, it appears completely unwashed. It's soiled in a striped pattern. Okay, so the bathroom wouldn't bathe themselves. The tub is filled with dirty water. Gross. There's a bottle here. Maybe the sunscreen. I, that's not, but I mean, even if it's sunscreen, he has a tan, like. Analyze the contents of this for me, will ya? Is this a PCE game? I believe originally it's a MSX 6000 game or something. But this is the Sega CD version, which is the only version that got released in the West. Um, but the game is a snatcher. I don't think it was for the PC, PC engine. I don't know, you'd have to look that up. It's suntan oil. It shows no sign of having been used recently. Sunscreen and suntan oil are like night and day. Okay, well, you know, I guess he's free. I detect numerous organic residue and organisms in the water residue here. There's no evidence that he's a snatcher. What's so funny? Just check it out for me. There's a crack on the bottom of the board. Something seems to be jutting at me. It appears there's some kind of inner chamber in the board. PC 8801 and the MSX2 in Japan. Ah. Wait, 1988? This is the 1988 game? Whoa. Sick. There's some kind of powder in here. Do we even have a warrant to go through a shit like this? Like. <laughs> These are illegal drugs. That's still fine. Like. Liquid Sky, the powerful stingum that is killing a lot of its addicts. So that about explains everything, doesn't it? Yes. It appears that Ivan was simply trying to conceal Illegal the fact drugs. that he is a drug user. An air surfer, huh? Plenty of suntan oil. Out there soaking up lots of ultraviolet rays. And tanned quite brown by those rays as well. But he doesn't have so much as a pimple. Not what I'd call your typical artificial skin user. Ivan is apparently not a snatcher. All right, go, Skelly, no. Hey, I only do liquid sky, dude. Just once in a while. I swear, I don't touch anything else. Don't hurt me, man. Come on, call me an ambulance, will ya? I'm no cop. I'm a junker. I couldn't care less if you're a buyer, a pusher, or what. What I want to know is if you're a snatcher or human. Please. Gillian, Ivan's skin is healthy. There is no way he could be a snatcher and tan like that without developing melanoma. He really does, Raven. However, Gillian is a psycho. Has transmitted us a scanning warrant. Therefore, under the provisions of Section 18 of the Civil Code, Snatchers and the Protection of Citizens' Rights, I will hereby commence a full bioscan of Ivan. <laughs> it's, oh, God! Analysis complete. Ivan Rodriguez is a completely normal homo sapien. <laughs> homo. <laughs> oh, I keep telling you, dude, I ain't no snatcher or whatever. Now, would you please get me a doctor? I'm totally normal homosexual. Why don't you just put some of your drugs on it? Hey, I wasn't doing anything wrong, man. The friendly boys from narcotics will be here any time now. Save your breath for them. 
Come on, dude, I ain't done nothing. I'm just in the air surfing. I just wanted to win the competition, man. I needed some money for that, okay? Hey, it's just drugs, man. Yeah, that's why I mod everywhere. Well, Ivan Rodriguez sure wasn't our man. Too bad for him that he happened oh, to look like the snatcher we're after. That leaves Freddie Nielsen. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't stream when you stream. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> We've heard of the turbo cycle. Where would you like to go? I actually think this might be a good stopping point. Um, I've been streaming a long time today. Yeah, four hours is a lot for me. Uh, but let's chat for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Raiders, you didn't see it, but check out this, uh, art I got. Yeah, look, look, oh, that's the wrong thing. Look, I mean, look. It's a good piece, right? Uh, I skip. Mm. Uh, this individual. Alright. Oh, Margo's back. I was gonna raid Doro, but Margo's back. Let's raid Margo. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. no. I, I, okay, don't, don't, cats. You can't say that. You know I'll do it. Uh, yeah, Stash is really fun. Um... This Saturday and this Thursday, I have collabs. Uh, Thursday, I'm going to be playing Decay with Orange again. Uh, and Saturday, I'm going to be playing We Were Here Too with uh, Luna, Aos Luna. Uh, please follow them both. They are very nice and cute. Um, I have a Discord if you're interested in talking to me or whatever. I have a Twitter, but Twitter kind of blows. Um... All of my socials are in the bottom. I guess I should pimp that. I don't know. Uh, thanks for coming out. I had a lot of fun. Um, that's just so fun. I might even try to stream Friday. Cause I really want to beat a Christmas game. I want to beat more games. I guess I should get a bot. You're right, Dora. Aki, Aji. Aki, Aji. Margot. Um, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Have a look at the cool thing. Bye bye. Звезды в лучах зари.